Hey, DOT community, this is Zalan coming at you with a Friday night Minerva, the reality bender. It's such a weird name for an event. So here we go. <laughs> it is time to grab the defender, Minerva. Now I know Godan was still promoting that his... His build, uh, his P10 build did not get beat. Um, I didn't even look at his relic setup on that one. But I'll tell you what, my P10 build after that live stream, uh, there was a Gaia and the beat me once. And other than that, everything was green. And then um, Aventador beat me with his P7. So... Which, uh, Crystallis, which I'm pretty certain everybody saw the video on that. Well, and if you didn't, check it out. I did a lot of work with uh, Aventador with this Defender because when it comes down to Defenders, it's it's very easy. That's like the best part. See, with an attacker coming out, until he, Aventador can actually attack with the attacker, then you actually can see a lot of the potential. But seeing an attacker on defense isn't always all that great. <laughs> so, that's why... These defensive videos have gotten one heck of a lot of action uh, because uh, it's pretty impressive to see how she works. Plus, I do have news. I also got, I did go deep on that event that happened earlier this week <laughs> for the ship, and I got it last day. I pulled a lot. So, um, and I did uh, 11 one. I got 11 one stars, 11 two stars, five three stars, and I did get one four star. And I completed that event. I got another ring of juice, so I have a third one now. And uh, I did get the ship, which we're going to talk about the leaks, and we're going to we're going to look at them as well. And uh, after we get a, maybe a few people here on Discord to discuss them, actually, uh, and a, and a few more people who joined into the stream. But I do appreciate everybody that's joined it already, because it's Friday night. And Extinction, Austin Bird, Nitrum, Sandstorm, Rodrigo Munez. I hopefully said that right. Speakerface, uh, BMT, Slick, Yellow Umbrella, Ricard, and Random Dragon on the Street. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't want to say that I grinded hard because I used all relics and I even did some double stacking. It was all last day, all last super, super duper last minute. And I got I got that that event done again, and I did with the help of the community, which I do appreciate all the people that that donate to my channel. Um, I was able to get uh, uh, another uh, hundred dollar pack for the uh, for for the deal that came out with this event, as well as um, I do as always for all Meta Titans that come out. I, I usually get at least three of the. Um, Fourteen dollar packs, which is roughly about forty five, forty six dollars, um, and uh, yeah, so I do that every time. Unless for some reason I have no faith, but when I do the test account videos, it's not just for you, DOT community. I'd like to know too, because I want to know if this is really going to be worth my time and effort. So, besides from her, though, I do like a lot of the uh, the two new relics as well that are coming with this event. As well as some of the other relics that were leaked. Thank you, Ethiogen. If anyone does not know who I'm talking about, uh, he is a uh, credited, um, a uh, I would say it's uh, was it data mining. So when it comes down to the leaks that Ethiogen puts together and releases to the community, it is definitely something that is. Uh, um, always subject to change on percentages. I'm not going to say that everything that when it comes down to what you see is always what you get when things are looked at early on, because I'm sure there's still testing going on. But I have seen that the way the skills are set up, like what you're what you're getting, uh, that usually doesn't change. But uh, you never know. They could they could uh, obviously make some adjustments on percentages. You never know. But they look nice. Well, from what we've seen. All right. Ty Harding, thank you for joining. Captain Howdy, Dead Nixon, Fury. Nice. Oh, Ricard. That's interesting. 
I heard the Extinction was having some issues with his packs as well. Um, thank you, Matthew Baker. Thank you for joining. And it's Saturday, 8 a.m. Oh, well, good morning. <laughs> awesome. Is everyone drink, drinking it? The Big Bender event? <laughs> Cat and Howdy? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. I mean, look at this. 1.7 mil from Queen Maz R Us. That's a... Uh, I mean, that's for a 60. I mean, level 60. Defender. All out of the bag. Not, And then all you have to do is prestige. No leveling necessary. Worth 1.7 million on Friday night or Saturday 8 a.m. <laughs> for some of our list, for some of our viewers, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty nuts. All right, anyway, so uh, what's up? What's up, Darshigan? Thank you for joining. And if you don't know who Darshigan yeah. is, Darshigan makes amazing videos. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, man, just finished dog training. I saw you were online. I was like, whoop. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So I'm doing my my normal Friday night uh, live stream as well. I mean, we do have some extra stuff to talk about, which is awesome. We have some leaks, four of them, four relics. So it's going to be interesting. So nice. as we accrue some a few more people here in Discord, uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to discuss these and look at them a little bit more in depth. <sighs> And uh, and talk about what we think about when they may be released and also uh, how we'd like to use them. So also, as we scroll down here, we are noticing that top five is all over a million. And as we get closer to the bottom of top 50, which, of course, many of us have uh, noticed on you know, a lot of my Friday Night live streams in the past where top 50 usually sits at 682. That's pretty high for Friday, you know. So, when it, it can, you know, because easily by the end of the stream, that could easily be 700,000. Um, and now NTG War is sitting at 65th place, uh, being the fact that we just want a second copy. <laughs> it's pretty much what it is. Uh, we're not exactly pushing to be in top 50. The, the necessary need to be in top 50 uh, doesn't exactly uh, appeal to everyone when it comes to people that are not actually doing the whole event. Majority of the players on our team, though, seem to be all about finishing the event anyway. So when it comes down to having other soul mins for team members that are here all the time, uh, it's one of those things where just being in top 100 is all most of them are concerned about. So the game has changed in that aspect. Many players used to be only top 50 uh, and always be looking for that second copy. Uh, but with them opening 50 more alliances to be able to get a copy of the brand new Titan, it definitely has changed a lot of attitudes on exactly how many souls people are willing to put up. So, and thank you for joining, Phoenix and Sandstorm. Thank you. So, and Queen Maz passed away. She was a level 50 beta player, played with her for about four years it's a tribute in her honor interesting she was amazing great person and beast player very cool thank you ricard for mentioning that i had no idea but that is awesome and that is understandable of why they posted those that amount of souls because that's going to guarantee a first position uh in her honor that is awesome so in any other circumstance i i was questioning uh that, that that gap just seemed a bit odd. <laughs> but understandable now, so thank you for that explanation. Black Talon, thank you for joining. What's up above below? Thank you. Uh, Blue wants to know what type of dog training there, Darth Shigan. Oh, I got a, a Belgian Malinois. Uh, so basically right now it's just some basic obedience. Once I get that down, I'm going to work on his, um, uh, well, I guess his protection work <laughs> and all that cool stuff. Nice. Did right. I lose you? No, I'm right here. Just listening. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Like I said, he's a, he's a really athletic dog, man. They got all kinds of cool obstacles for him and stuff. It's fun to watch him work. That's it's cool. interesting. When he's in class, he behaves so much better than he does at home. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Just like all children do, right? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you called it yeah. Azimod? What's the... Hmm? Yeah, what, what's that famous? It sounded like some, some strange German phrase that you used to, to describe the, the production training. But just some, uh, so I was moving into it. I, I'm just... No, I know the, the protection training that I'd like to put him into is called Schutzhound training. That'd be fun. Okay. That's a ton, a ton of work. I just don't have the time right now for it. But it'd be cool to do that. How's your hand, by the way? Oh, still very broken. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's why I haven't seen you. <laughs> There's no tactical for me. Yeah. Oh, but can you can still play the you can still play DOT with one hand, right, Phoenix? Yeah, if I like like lay the phone on my leg, then I like use the one hand and the grinding though is definitely not happening. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> Relics only for Phoenix. <laughs> Just sully boosters. Mm. That's right. Oh man. All right. So we or we're recruiting a few more people here on Discord. We got Vintage joining in as well. Thank you, Vintage. Good evening. Yeah, so we need to talk. We have to talk about these leaks. There's four of them, and they've been they've been rotated around on a few uh, YouTube channels already. Gasan eighty six specifically, and uh, also uh, Nadim has also uh, showcased them in a uh, um, in in videos. Uh, but I definitely want to look at these skills and definitely discuss some different things. So we got thirty four people. Yeah, watching. I want to I want to discuss where do you get them? Yeah, because. They've never added a a five star relic yep. to the game before. Yeah, <laughs> yes, they have not done that. Just one, just one. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Is, it, is this the house dream scenario where they're going to have a fifty k soul event? Yeah, uh, I hope not. So, <laughs> so, and if it is, it's all house's fault. We will blame house forever and always. Yes. Forever and well, house, always. <laughs> house will wear that like a necklace the rest of his life. Right. Now, Vintage, I was hoping that you would join tonight because there was something I did right before the stream, and that was on the test account, I did one battle in my alliance, which had zero souls, and my alliance with ten souls was ranked 3,509. So, just so 3, you 3,500. Yep. All right. Uh, just an interesting fact about how many alliances, at least number wise, that they have listed for ten souls. Yeah, I, I imagine you know two thirds of the alliances are one man alliances. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it. But I just wanted to see where that number was with ten souls. Yeah, no, that's that's great info. Mm. So, all right. <laughs> Let the name an alliance, me, myself, and I, and just be all by myself. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Just so. call it just me. <laughs> I do want to bring up one more thing here at the very beginning. Um, oh, well, we're also going to look at what's in this event because, of course, just in case there's anyone that is still considering, what do I do in this event? If you're not going to, if you don't plan on going anywhere, two thousand, great goal. You're going to get three tokens, event tokens that you can save for the future. If you can go farther and have more time, four thousand will get you four. 4,500 is actually a smart plan if you're, again, have the time and can do 500 more souls grind-wise. There is, has been a lot of um, portal stone rewards, of course, just higher amounts. So having the extra portal stones to, to grind with isn't, it shouldn't be as much of an issue as it used to be in the past, I should say. So anyway, with that said, 4,500, because epic tokens are good for Altar of Abundance. Just going to always continue to mention that as we see them, for when they're this low. Because epic tokens aren't always at 4,500. So I just recommend that. If you're going to go for already for four uh, event tokens, 4,500 is a smart move. For the rest, you're going to pretty much go all the way, because you're not stopping at target practice at 8,000. Which, again, developers, is that really how much target practice is worth? Is it? So, <laughs> I'm just going to get it. Whatever. Anyway, so another epic token at 11k. Eros, great titan. Always enjoyed playing with Eros. It's just very fun. Uh, I, I, because I just enjoy um, Omega Goliath. Uh, Omega Goliath. Are so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. So Eros is always just, again, a fun titan for me. Just like a, a lot of, I have a small collection of fun titans that I just like to use in all sorts of different events. Especially now Hell has joined the ranks of that group. Uh, Hell is going to be right there with um, my Sekhmet with, for Assault. 
Uh, it's going to be awesome. So I'm just saying, Eros, again, Omega Goliaths are so much fun. Besides from that, uh, Bountiful Harvest this is, uh, is a old relic at this point. Uh, not many opportunities to grab it. So if you want a cornucopia for a relic, you can, you know, you have that astral crown. You know what? Hey, what? Zalon. What? Uh, click on the sky shackles for me, the the little eye. Yep, I got you. Because I need, I need reminded what it is. I think it's Omega Human Troops, right? Yeah, it's got human troop damage and Archer's Critical and Omega Archer Armor Piercing. Um, okay. Eh. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It was it was ranked up pretty high, if I remember correctly. It might have even had its own solo event. I forget. Yeah, yeah. That, it's a kind of meh. I think that was a uh, Uranus relic, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I just remember it coming out uh, ar- around the same time as a bunch of other f- uh, um, physical uh, relics as well. So, but it was ranked on really, really high up. In there. I, I don't think I got Sky Shackles the first time around. I either didn't complete an event and it was like the last relic in the event. And I was like, really? This is the last relic? Events like that happen every once in a while where the last relic is like, huh? So, I, th- I think that was one where I was just like, I'm not going the extra two or three K souls just to grab that. So, but eventually, like, like all events... Uh, relics that are at the end eventually find their way in the middle. As much as I've talked about wanting to get target practice for like, you know, almost a year, maybe maybe longer, it's only worth 8k now because target practice isn't all that, you know, it's been overshadowed hardcore. Again, it's got Omega Ar- Ar- um, Omega Archer armor piercing, Spearman armor, and all troop damage. All troop damage isn't a bad skill at all, but, you know, there's other relics that just have a little bit more and all to one Thing instead of going from Omega Arch- Archers, because that's not something that you're going to always have on a lot of your different uh, Titans. The more universal relics are the ones that everyone enjoys so very much, because, again, as much as your Titans may fall to the wayside, you will always continue to be able to use these universal relics. So, that's why, whenever they do come along, like, for instance... The Astral Crown is a Titan physical damage, so it's nice because it's got that base troop health and the Titan and troop uh, ranged and melee resist. That's it's awesome skill, um, but it's only to physical Titans. That's the only downside. So, not universal, but really great relic for physical Titans. But with the Solar Man, I mean, if what, what's up? if you don't have like a um, Amber and Nephilinus, for instance. Mm-hmm. This is a quasi substitute because of the ranged and uh, um, melee, melee resist. Yeah. It can help you, you know, stack those up because you don't need a whole lot of melee resist. It could be a potential hole filler. Exactly. But uh, the Solomancer energy that you have on the screen, mm-hmm. that's the relic I really and, like. And this is universal. And that's it. Like I was mentioning, those are the relics that will last the test of time. Is because when you already have three skills that are useful, and it's not locked into any particular element Titan, which means again that last the last relic that I just showed, the Astral Crown, the first skill has to say Titan, insert element type here, you know, damage, and that's it. After other than that, the Titan and troop, or you know, anything that has a combo of Titan and troops, or troops, or any anything like that, or something like this, Titan and troop armor piercing, they're universal and can be used on anything, which is great. What's up, Lex? So this one's going to be great for the future. And then, of course, the Dozy, which I had an opportunity to get it in the past, but I didn't because it's had its own solo event. But I'm going to get it finally, and it's going to be something that I can use, definitely. So I'm, I'm definitely happy that that's actually included in this, in this event. And the Arca, I, I think I'll find some use for it at some point. I think it's got some good skills as well. But it is limited to physical titans. So, But yes. Very cool. So do we have enough people? Yeah, the Arcas kind of seem like turds. They haven't been, yeah, they haven't been like a, uh, like eggs, or they haven't been like, uh, what's the other one? The Dracos. The Dracos, yeah. Yeah, that's a popular one, too. 
or we also had um, the there was a there was a few other ones that were now see a lot of people lost their minds over the instruments. I didn't think they were that good. Um, the Apollo's Lear is good. Oh like uh, yeah, that. that is correct. Yes. Yeah, I like that. And then I also like uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Future Pipes isn't bad. You know, I guess I did level one of those, so I can't call it bad. That's for sure. I if I leveled it, I and I, I it I was for, it was for Iggy, I think, because that it was necessary. I don't know. It was it, Future Pipes was good. I liked it. Oh, the charms, Sandstorm. Yes. Oh, anyone Wait, else? The charms. Yes, above below. Remember, this is a this is a uh, um, a no fly zone, but. Um, Yes, a lot of people sent me screenshots of that, and uh, I, uh, we don't know if it's for real or not. We'll see what happens. <laughs> very odd. Very very strange. All right, so let's get to the leaks, everyone. 40 people watching. We got Darcy Gone, Vintage, Phoenix, and Sandstorm here in Discord, so excellent. I think it's about time. I will get back to grinding the event. I do have some three-star relics that we can get to, but whoops. E you going to look at the uh, new Relic Leaks? Yes, we are. Okay. It should be. Whoop, whoop. Screenshots. Bloop. There we go. We'll start with this one. All right. So this one. The... Oh, man. I'm going to butcher it. So Can... Canhar Valley? Volley? I'm sorry. <laughs> Valley. Sorry. I didn't mean to... Can Har Volley? Is that close? Works for me. Yeah. Probably pr still pronouncing it wrong. So this is the synergy yeah. relic for Nurgal because we do know the and oh again quick disclaimer at the beginning these are all thanks to Ethiogen and I of course probably still say his name wrong but I do want to thank him and he does uh, have credible leaks when it comes down to what we've seen plenty of times in the past. So just so we, we get that out of the way right here in the beginning. Um, and I like now that he, for a while now he's been putting equipped by Ethiogen down there in the bottom, right? <laughs> he always does that now. Very fancy. All right. So it's part of his trademark as well. But when you're looking at this, um, you're seeing that, um, oh, hello Val. Thank you for joining. And Churito. Thank you for joining. So, uh, with Titan and Troop Poison Damage, Titan and Troop Armor Piercing, Omega, Panther, Poison Damage, and Armor Piercing. So, that's 120% Armor Piercing for those Omega Panthers. That's not bad. I know as much as Armor Piercing isn't as important as maybe damage and critical and stuff like that, you're also getting 130% Omega Panther Damage. Because you got that fifty on the top and the eighty on the bottom, it's it's pretty nice relic for uh, for when it comes down to any uh, titans that have Omega Panthers. So, and then of course these synergies at the bottom, we're getting uh, they're getting base Titan and troop health, and then uh, two times more Warrior Spirits as Nergal loses health. That'll be interesting to see. We're definitely going to be trying this out to see how this all works, but. I have to say those first that you know, that last skill especially combined with the first two skills make it so that those Omega Panthers are definitely getting very boosted. So I like it. It's gonna be interesting. Definitely have to test it out though. What does everybody think about this? Did I lose everybody on Discord? I think I did. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, no problem, Z. Yeah, so what happened? What, what, what does everybody think uh, about this? Well, we were, we were just talking about how they try, and perhaps this is bait for the upcoming event, but, you know, you take Nergal, you know, he's like two metas ago. I mean, this relic doesn't suddenly make him good. But Phoenix is 100% correct in that solo Nergal is a monster at mid castle level. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my, what I'm thinking is this relic, as you may not think about using the synergies as much as you would like to have the synergies work, 
this relic could be important for the next poison attacker that we get because the next poison attacker may have some uh, waves, including Omega Panthers. So if it does, this relic now becomes super important to make sure that those waves of Omega Panthers that come later are actually going to be coming in super hard with way more damage, way more armor piercing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the one week before this new Poison Titan put Sparky in the grave, you can run around and test it on Sparky, too. Mm Mm-hmm. So, definitely had to bring that up. It's going to be interesting. Again, we'll make it so that you do the event. It would just really depend on how how great it really would would work on other Titans. But yeah, somebody uh, drifts uh, says uh, try it on Sparky. Wouldn't be, it'd be interesting. Yeah. So, all right. So on to the Norse Pantheon relic. Again, credit to the Ethiopian. It's the Ratty. So interesting. Um, I'd like to know a little bit more about what this actually is. You know, the picture doesn't obviously tell you too much from my point of view because I've never seen anything that looks like that. But um comes with uh, Titan all elemental damage, 50%, all lightning spells, 80%, and Titan and troop armor piercing, 40%. Uh, skills don't jump out to me to being like... Crazy good because of the Titan all elemental damage is just Titan, not Titan and troops. All lightning spells yeah. damage is always nice. I'm not going to say that's not. This is a four star relic, which means it's not, you know, uh, otherwise that lightning spell damage uh, percentage should be higher if it was a five star relic. But Titan and troop armor piercing 40%. That kind of seems like something we'd see on kind of any other relic that we've been getting in a lot of the newer events, right? 40% Titan and Troop Armor Piercing for the last skill doesn't seem to... Yeah, I mean, they're trying to, you know, for those that went for Thor, mm-hmm. you know, with Mjolnir, they're just trying to ramp that up, I guess. Because, well, I mean, who cares about Loki, right? Yeah, well, the thing <laughs> is, the Pantheon Collection is not going to be Thor, Loki, Odin, and what was the fourth one in the first Norse Collection? How about, like, uh, Odin? Well, was Odin, it Valkyrie? Yeah, Valkyrie, Odin, Loki, Thor, correct? Those are the four. So I think this next one's going to be, when they release it, will be Hel, Helga, Brumhilda, and Siv. But they're going to make this relic work on all of them. I see, yeah. Uh, see what I'm saying? And Siv should have came out in the last freaking uh, solo event, man. So, it, they just don't have it working on Valkyrie. I guess maybe because, doesn't Valkyrie have her own synergy? Yes, with the sco- uh, the scold and sphered and scold or whatever. Yeah. So, with that said, that's why she's not included on here. But that's how I deciphered that because when I looked at it, I was like, "How can they make it? They're making it so it works on all of them." Okay, but at the same time, I'm like, they can't make the pantheon be all those titans because they don't have any pantheons that are that large. But they're just gonna probably just make it Hel, Helga, Brumhilda, and Siv. Making it so they can release Siv again, right? Weren't you pr- predicting Darth Shigon that Siv was coming back? I thought right. it was going to be. I thought it was going to be with that Skin Blander event because of the whole lore behind Skin Blander being made of uh, Siv's hair. Uh, okay, okay. But may- maybe in this um, uh, Lady of the Slain, they'll have her be the extra Titan in there with Frigg. That's very possible. Just saying. Yeah. When, when when you see these Titans listed and everything else, just like Pantheon Titans. Yeah, you, you, you think uh, which ones haven't we seen recently? You know, because they're going to pop out again. Yeah. So and then it so these skills, of course, fifty percent uh, base Titan and troop damage for that level five, and then the level ten uh, synergy. You got Norse on Titan critical uh, on Titan critical cast lightning on two enemies max ten, so that's twenty lightning spells. Now that's just regular lightning. That's not lightning storm. So. Do take that into account. So we're just talking about straight lightning. So if you're attacking single single troops, such as like uh, Panthers or Goliaths, it's going to be quite effective. But uh, typically... Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, this is a nice tune-up for Thor, I yeah. think is what it amounts to. Yeah. 
being that he's pretty much out of that list. Well, hell, but at the same. Well, I mean, he's a heck of a spellcaster if you have Mjolnir. Yeah, but all, well, true, but you also got you also got Hell too as well. Yeah, I like the base damage for Hell. Yeah. Yeah. So, you have to look at looking at it like that. Um. Anyway, all right, so let's move on from there. And that was Prometheo. Thank you for joining, Prometheo, and Turo, and House. Wow, thank you for all joining. All gang. Yes, very cool, very cool. Mm-hmm. And yes, and yes, we're doing lots of theory crafting here as we move along. So we already did right. we already did the Nurgle Synergy Relic, and we just did the Pantheon Relic for uh, for um, the Norse, which I think is going to be Norse too. So the, does that ultimately just double the amount of warrior spirits he gets? Regardless of what prestige level you got? Uh, this one, uh, times two more warrior spirits as Nergal loses health. So it's just times two more. So I would assume as, as the you know, if you have one, you're getting two. If you have two, you're getting yep. four. So, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds, yeah. It sounds like fun, man. You know what I mean? So nothing too fancy, but it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's a little, you know what, I think more of a bit of creative thing. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think that these four stars are... We've reached a point in the game where there are actually very few relics that can compete for the slots, especially on your attacking Titan. And um, yeah, I think these four stars are interesting and potentially in the meta, uh, although definitely not overpowered. This is sort of like... I think these are all right at the level of where four stars need to be now. Oh, well, we don't yeah. just have all four stars, though, Promethea. We do have one more. After this, this third one, which is the Tesseract, which may be a five star, so we'll see. <laughs> all right, so with the Tesseract, we got the Titan all elemental damage 50%. Seems pretty standard, but again, it's not troop, so just to put that in there. And then we have Titan and troop armor and health at 40%. Not bad. And then at start, add three spells and call three troops based on the Titan's element. That is interesting, okay? That's something we haven't really seen before on a relic, and that's something we've seen more in the skills of of of, of Titans. So now it's being put into relics. So this, this relic is crazy strong. Yes, that's going to be you very can imagine interesting. The combination with three this the extra troops, right? Mm-hmm. Three extra troops plus you get a ten percent melee debuff for the enemy. Oh, Holy crap! Sorry, Dragonfly Drifty. Sorry. But that's very recent, too, as well. Sorry. Correction. But you're correct. Um, but, yes. Yeah, so now we're seeing even more relics with these um, uh, bringing out more troops. But this is also bringing spells, too. So, I mean, that's all in one skill. Now, yeah, so, I mean, you take, like, a Necromancer, for instance, who already has a melee debuff. Then you add this on top of it, and you get three extra troops. Dude, that's going to be insane, man. That's going to be a really good relic. So this is going to that be... That was just an example. I this mean, is, This is going to be yeah. the um, collection pantheon for the um, all of the sorcerers. Or I, oh. it's, it's, they're, it's going to be all the sorcerers specifically. They don't call them the archmages. So, because oh, okay. not, all, not <clears throat> all archmages are sorcerers. Because some of them are rangers. It's kind of, I, I, well, there are rangers, but they're sorcerers at the same time. It's just, I don't know. It just seems that they may just finish with Everdur, and then we may not see a Earth one until later. Like we've seen in previous um, metas in the past, they don't always do all the elements or give you militia to- after the fact, <laughs> you know. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Ca- Captain Howdy asks an excellent question. There's two ways this can happen. They love their RNG crap, so when you get three extra spells, who knows? It might be random trash. However, if you look at your battle load screen, there's a lot of slots that are locked on spells and troops and so forth. What if, instead of six spells, you could choose nine spells? Wow, yeah, that'd be great. That would be that'd be super strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. But uh, I I would definitely encourage people to always think about these relics in the bigger picture of what is the percentage increase I'm getting in the power that this is moving for my 
Titan and army, you know, the, the army collectively with the Titan. So looking at that, you think about what's the benefit I'm getting from three extra troops. Well, you know, it depends on exactly what type of army you're using. If it's just a straight plain Jane, you know, 12 troops army, which I mean, you rarely see anyone using, uh, you know, that, that kind of simple attack anymore in the game. But if it was, then that's a 25% increase in the number of troops you've got. So, you know, right there, that, that gives you a, a way of thinking about it. It's a lot more complex with all the Omegas and other things you can have in the game. Going back to the spells point, uh, if it's, you know, spells that you're going to get three more of something that you're already using, well, you know, if, if you're only taking three rages and, and three shields, then you're doubling the number of rages you have. You know, if you've got the st- Staff of Iron on there, then you've already got, you know, six rages and three shields or nine rages. And so the percentage increase is always going to be relative to what you're what you're doing in the strategy for that Titan. So with this being a Pantheon collection for the Sorcerers, I think only four will be necessary to get it. I do not think Nephilinus and Grothorn will be required to get this Ooh. relic. Because that would but, be that would be absolutely crazy. Because how yeah. would you obtain yeah. this without spending twenty four thousand DGs? So, unless they release them in advance eventually, and then that but, would make it so that you would still have to wait for that to happen. I truly believe yeah. if it's already in now, now, Ethiogen is able to find these uh, relics and all the all the stats for them and everything else because they are able to be found now. So that is kind of how it works, and they don't always have all this stuff available when they do a update for the game. A bunch of things usually become available, and then other things are there, but they're just not actually filled in. Let's look at it that way. There, there's placeholders, but obviously well, you, know, you look at it, and there's nothing. There's not no information there, so you just obviously come back later. But now there's obviously information there. That's why we see these. So more or less saying they're going to be used fairly soon. So but you know, so there's no lightning. I'm a arc mage or sorcerer mentioned it all so that's oh, why i was mentioning this earlier right before at the beginning uh, when, when looking at this relic um when you when you look at the titans that they have included uh as the ones th- for the synergy that to me says that everder may be the last archmage in this set of meta titans and they're going to move on to something different after that and if that is the case then we may see a uh, lightning and or earth archmage released later in just random in between type meta events because we have seen that in the past when it comes down to releasing more Norse titans, more Greek titans. More, it just happens. So I think it happened with the dragon, the amber of dragons too, didn't it? Isn't like Gaia not on there? She was the last one that came out. No, she's on there. She gets it. Well, which one? There's one of them. No, no, no. Isn't there one of them that's not needed for the Pantheon? I think it's for the... Um, I want to say it's for the Dragon Slayer. Not the Dragon Slayer. What is it? The War Gods. Uh, I, 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 I think I know what you're talking about, too. I think you, you're right. But uh, anyway. Anyway, so... Let's see. Yeah. Hey, Zalon, can I What's up? circle back on a point Vintage made earlier? Sure. So the the point about there being an extra debuff on a relic that you can stack with the debuff from a Titan is a really good one. Um, it, it analogizes to the way armor piercing works in the game. And I just want to kind of help people understand what the impact is of something like that. So um, let's take melee resistance as an example you know it's pretty easy to get to 80 percent melee resistance in the current meta or even to get to 90 percent which i believe you can do and then have some buffer against uh the debuffs so you know if you figure that the natural response in the current meta to um you know melee debuffs is to add that extra 10 percent of of melee resistance well then what you get by having that extra 10 percent of debuff is you're potentially overcoming that uh, extra defense that they have 
in terms of you're having 20% melee debuff versus their 10% buffer. And so you're getting that extra 10% of melee debuff and, and it's taking effect. Uh, that means you're actually cutting into their melee resistance by 10%. Going from 80% down to 70% means that you're you're increasing damage by 50%. So yeah, that that extra 10% could be a 50% increase in the damage you're doing in a fight. Um, if it's taking from 70%, because you're already getting the first 10% of debuff, down to 60%, so you're, you're doubling the amount of effect that you're having from your melee debuff, then that's an extra 33% damage because you're already um, increasing the damage by 50%. Um, you take that up to 100%, and the net effect is that the extra 10% increased your damage by 30% or 33%. So it, it, it's, it's helpful to think about these things in terms of how you're going to stack them against the the meta that you're up against. In a lot of cases, it's too complicated. Like with armor piercing, you just kind of, you're almost like throwing darts at a dartboard that you can't see because you don't even necessarily know where they're getting on armor. Um, but with armor piercing, if you can break their armor by just 25%, so that means you get to within um, armor piercing that's at least 50% 50, 50 armor piercing less than their net armor number, uh, then... You're, you're doubling your damage. So armor piercing can be really effective. And it, it has up to a 4x effect on your damage. But the problem is that it's such a floating target, it's really hard to hit uh, a number on that. So the melee uh, damage debuff, uh, I think that that's, that is really effective, and I think a lot of people will be going after that relic to get it. Because what he's referring to is when a regular spell is cast upon the enemy, minus 1% melee resist for that unit max 10. So that's minus 10%. Many will say that doesn't sound like a lot, but as Prometheo just stated, it does make a huge difference. And Adam says, you're hurting my brain! But I'll tell you what, you can tell in Prometheo's voice that he is ready to be able to do another live stream sometime soon, because you can tell that Prometheo in, does, does enjoy does enjoy talking about this stuff. So thank and, you. And this is a good time to interject my standard for every single live stream I'm on now. Mm-hmm. SPP accounts. My God, get Prometheo a freaking test account, right? Seriously, my yeah. goodness, dude. It's Seriously. it's dude. It's it's a joke at this point. It is flat out stupid at this point. It's insane. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like I probably don't even have enough time for the game anymore. But I've spent enough time thinking about it that, you know, I, I have an instinct and, and, you know, the analytical tools for a lot of this stuff. But, like, I, I would definitely say, like, you know, Aventador and people who are actually doing battle videos, like, why do those people not have test accounts? You know, mm -hmm. like, it, every one of the people who is posting, you know, a battle video that has a thousand hits or more should be getting a test account right away because that's how you promote the game. And that's how you keep people current with the meta, you know, True. to show how you play the game at the highest level. So Right. And that's all I've ever wanted is to be able to demonstrate what stuff could be. As in, save your relics, level your relics, you know, get this Titan for this reason, etc. Because, you know, if yeah. you can show someone, I can do all the math on the damn whiteboard until everybody right. goes blind. But if you show them in a battle, that's how you... That, dude, that is so much better, man. Yeah. The, the way that I used to work my model uh, to, to figure out all the best uh, builds is I would swap out each relic individually in the spreadsheet uh, against the list of all of the relics in the game. And, uh, and so it would run the marginal contribution of every single relic and, and I would go through and do a few passes through to, to get the optimized uh, set of relics. I mean, the thing is, if you have a test account, and so you have all those relics just waiting to be tested. You don't have all the relics. That's part of it, is also equip the SPP accounts properly, for goodness sake. Right. right. Yeah. It, honestly, I think the game has reached a point of, you know, it, they haven't expanded 
the inventory and the infrastructure of the game enough to accommodate their expansion of content and items. And so, you know, in a lot of cases, you just can't have everything in the game anymore. But at the same time, they have very much obsoleted a lot of the old stuff. So, you know, with a good SPP account where they're dropping every new relic on your account, level 10, you know, you could really show people a lot of the uh, the ins and outs of what is worth having and, and why you should level it. Yeah. All right, Prometheo, I want to swipe one more time to the right to show off the last and final leak. And then I'm going to okay. just, I can go into grinding I, mode. So. I, I can't wait for this one because this could be a controversy on the all time oh. level. All right. Oh, let's real, go. Real, real, real quick. What, what, last thing about this one test rack is Crystallis and Necromancer, Minerva and Everdur would be required, in my opinion, to get this relic in the, for the Pantheon. Because having four titans in there to get a relic in the Pantheon is is normal, um, unless they do six or five. But I still think that, that since they're listed here under the synergy, that they're the ones that required. Another reason to do this event, because having at least one of each of these will guarantee you this relic as soon as they put it in the game. All right, here we go. It's the Archmage's Staff! So we've seen this image for a little while. It's been around. I saw this actually months and months ago. <laughs> but um, the image, just for this relic, but we didn't know because we knew that the purple behind it means it's a five-star. Um, but we didn't know exactly what it would be and where it was going to be put in the game. Uh, but it's got... So it is for the sorcerers. It's so it's going to be a five star that can only be put on the sorcerers and not any other titan. So keep that in mind as well, because with that having the sorcerer symbol to the left means that that is going to require a sorcerer to use it. So and then of course they have the sorcerer synergy for Nephilimus Grother and Crystallis Necromancer Minerva and Everdur as well. So. 60% Titan and Troop Damage, 40% Titan and Army Resist Against All Elements. Both of those skills are amazing. And then 100% All Spell Damage. Again, a great skill to also be used with the ship. <clears throat> Just to say that off the bat. Anyway, so... Two times Relic Attack and Spell Damage when a regular spell is cast upon the enemy. Relic Attack... And spell damage when a regular spell is cast upon the enemy. So, I believe that's two x the above. Sixty percent, correct? That's what I'm so looking 200% at. Two hundred percent spell damage. Yeah, and a hundred. It would yeah, be so. And a hundred and twenty percent. Think about what damage. that does to rage spells. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! That's crazy. When you stack it with all the other things. Exactly. Jesus. And yeah. I and then minus two percent elemental well. resist for that for that unit max ten. So that's minus twenty percent uh, all elemental resist. But that's just for that unit. So it doesn't mean that that's going to be applied all of it. Yeah, but in melee mosh pits, you're dropping a lightning storm spell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not hitting one unit. Yeah. And now you're doing minus 20% elemental resist for all those units? Holy crap, dude. So here's here's my question. In my opinion, this could end up being one of the biggest disasters in the game to date. If they stick this thing in the existing, you know, uh, Arthropod uh, uh, Divine Altar? I don't think it will. Dude. Everyone's going to lose their freaking minds. I would be so mad if they did that because I kind of think it's going to be out of the been in there. Perhaps it would have lowered my chance to get the trash that I pulled. That's true. Or, or, or it just gets put in its own spot. But that would make they everybody upset. But that would also make people upset saying there's a bunch of casinos and then one that I can buy for 8,000. <laughs> that would be disappointing i mean you could grind the, what but doesn't that make it kind of a, a six star doesn't it make it even better than the five stars if it's honestly considered to be on its own without having being in a casino 
If it was a non-casino, I'd say for it. Vintage, did you get bit by the widow? I got the widow and the freaking mantis back to back. Oh, man. I got the two trash ones. I hate Save it. Save your DGs. Yeah. Because now I'm that so I see this, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the separate altar by itself situation. Because how else can they make this so everyone doesn't get pissed, like like Vintage is saying? How? It has to be its own poll. But it'll finally, definitively, once and for all, prove that people are going to prefer knowing what you're going to get. And my God, maybe they'll actually do it right. They'll be like, oh, look at that. Everyone seems to be yeah, saving up for the ultimate. one. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, we didn't see why this wouldn't before, you want huh? two? You want one for attack and one for defense, right? Why not? Oh, my gosh. But, I mean, saying that it's going to be like 8,000 above the arthropods, is that, you know, realistic? Or do, do people think it's actually going to be lower? Because it's got amazing skills. And we're talking about synergy with the sorcerers. I mean, it's no dragonfly, but, um, you know, if if I knew exactly what I was getting, I would pay six or seven k for it. Mm-hmm. Because I know what I'm getting. Then I sign up for it, and I won't be able to cry about it when I get it. Yeah. Totally. Like great. I've been saying for a long time, basically along those same lines that. There's no reason that the altars have to be casinos at all, or especially even on a rolling basis, why you don't have, uh, you know, special promotions where this week you can spend your divine gems to get this relic and you know what you're getting. Like the fact that they don't do that shows that they just don't care. Yeah, they just they want people to chase. And they have roll, rotating altars already. Every week, you're um, next to the all element. You have two altars for different uh, titans for thirty k uh, element wise that rotate every week. Yeah, well, the, yeah. I mean, they could take all the divine relics and say, "All right, it's champion week. All the champion ones are available. Now's your chance." Yeah, and rotate every six weeks. You go through the rotation. Here's an idea. Well, it'd be seven now. You've got, you've got a subscription. <laughs> you, you make people pay $10 a month for a subscription where they get 500 divine gems a month. And if you're in the club, then you get, you get a, uh, you know, once a week to get a specific relic. Yeah, I've I've been wanting them to do some kind of subscription gold pass thing for years. Oh my gosh! Yeah, exactly. And they would have seen so oh, much more God. revenue, God. and would have had to be extra less stingy on other other aspects of the game. I honestly think so. Yeah, yeah like exactly. this whole you know free to play debacle with you know dropping the four yeah. K gems and all that. If they would have offered a three to five dollar pack, which effectively did the same thing, it would have yeah. never been an issue. Never been an issue because who doesn't have three stupid dollars a month? I mean, come on. And we're talking about, you know, 4K gems and a bunch of portal stones or something, you know, and like Prometheus said, throwing some divine gems. What What's the problem? Yeah. You, you know, if you, you got 50,000 people doing that every month, you know, it, you know, even if it was five bucks, you know, there's an extra quarter of a million a month. Just, you know, the cherry on the Sunday. My God, they're stupid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's a digital product. Just sell right. it as many units as you can. It costs you nothing, and as long as the player base is happy with the access you're giving them to the good stuff, then who cares? Right. Yeah, I'll never understand it. Yeah. No, but uh, they have to be extra dumb, just because they can. Yeah, it's almost like they're getting exponentially dumber as time goes on, too. Especially yeah. they is it, is it two, down their player two, base. Is it, it's like they go out of their way to tick them it, off it, even more. Is there a two times multiplier yeah. vintage? Is that what it is on their skill set? <laughs> At least. <laughs> no, it, it, what it is, it's an IQ debuff. That's what they're <laughs> IQ debuff. <laughs> yeah. oh. 
It's called brain drive. People are drawn over to the shiny project and they're, they're just, just done with DOT internally, but well, I have to go gentlemen. This was fun. Uh, it good streams a lot. I'll see you all later. All right. Prometheo, I just Prometheo. Hopped on. Later, buddy. All right. Later, Prometheo. Take care, man. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Val's here as well. Thank you for joining Val. I just want to say, uh, Zalon, you guys are making way too much sense. Great suggestions to everyone, but these are logical suggestions. I would advise you no logic. Just yeah. enjoy this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's too much logic, therefore they will listen. Well, I mean, we've been beating our head on the wall for three years. Why stop now? We have to just keep saying it over and over and over, and perhaps one of the ten will get through. I really think if they make this Archmage staff a single purchase option, this could set a trend. And if we well, all respond to it, there's a chance. This does this does alleviate one one small thing that we have been complaining about, and that is specifically how we have we don't have enough Ranger five stars for all these new Archmages. If there's a if there's a sorcerer five star that does add one more five star that you don't have to put on because like, you can't you're not going to use your ranger one. I mean, you're getting a combo of the both the gods mixed with Stormbringer. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool relic, man. I love it. I mean, if if they put it to where I I could pull it for five k DGs, the next ten thousand divine gems I s- save will go to these. I want one for offense. I want one for my garrison. Absolutely. Now, Absolutely. I'm going to also bring up one other concept for it real quick, and then you know we can discuss whatever after that. doesn't. But do you think they'll put it into an actual event right off the bat? Because they could. Because I mean, they're getting itself. pretty liberal with their finished plus stuff. They could do it and after the Norse, after the Norse of the the last the last two Norse finish plus events. They could make it so that it is literally right at the very end of the sorcerers after Everdur. If they're smart, they would hold out. I mean, honestly, if they came out with a new five star once a quarter that completed whatever new meta we're in, that's smart because it forces us to do more events. If it's a finish plus, I'm in absolutely. Well, it's. I was really ticked because this last Norse finish plus that they did had the Axis of War in it, which I've been wanting for forever, and I couldn't do that event. <laughs> They've been doing more of that finish plus stuff, which I like it. And you know, with this new Archmage staff that they're coming out with, if if it's what I'm thinking it's going to be, and what I've been seeing people talk about, you know, like somebody said earlier, maybe it'll set a trend, and you know, maybe they'll start wising up to the whole. Maybe we should do some more little offers here and there so that people actually buy into it. Oh. Like, so many games, if you have little incentives here and there, when you're not trying to price gouge you know, your players, they'll actually buy into it. Because it's like, oh, hey, I actually can make some progress. I actually can get this. Yes, it'll take me some time, but it's doable. Instead of them just being like, nope, not going to do it. It's too much work, whatever, or too much money. Like, I think there's an opportunity here and you know this is of course you know hoping that the devs actually use their brains but if they take the opportunity here they could really really stabilize a little bit of the you know upset attitude of the community and at the same time make themselves some more money in a better way yeah you know because i was uh interacting with a a player today on discord he was saying hey i'm kind of new can you help me out? What sh- what kind of Titans should I be looking for for Island defense? And I'm like, dude, if you're new, Island defense is is it's unattainable. Just put what put on islands what you have because this is something I've been trying to say to these developers for over three years. You have to defend a garrison in thirty islands. Why do they you know have the meta change so fast? Why did, were they so stingy with the relics for so long? You know, I mean, because you're talking about if you take the best relics, it's not like you need two of them. You need like 20 or 30 of them. I mean, you, you know, tell me if I'm wrong. If you had access 
to 30, say, elemental grasps. You know, just pick one universal good relic. Wouldn't you have 30 of them in your inventory? Absolutely. It's brilliant. So, or if yeah, you want to spend any more DGs like with Godan, I mean, Godan had 36,000 Divine Gems because he doesn't want to pull a slot machine. But if he had his Dude, pick, I, I understand if, he that, pick, if he had his pick, they would all be gone. Yeah, that, but didn't, didn't Godan get a anything. dragonfly? That's true. I think he did. <laughs> he, uh, just saying. I, I don't think I could have that bro. luck. And see, the thing is, I'm so glad that now that I've seen these leaks, and Ethiogen is in chat, and, and, and we were giving mad credit earlier, so I hope you mad at, le- props, bro. at least uh, got to see some of that. But we were going through everything uh, from the leaks from today, and it's very good. So, of course, d- big props, and thank you very much for what you do. Jim can post props Discord. Discord, it's like... It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas when you see his name pop up. Right? Oh, yeah. It's really good. And like I said, percentages, there's all. There's always a possibility because some of these things may, may not be released for a few weeks or longer. You never know. Um, but when it comes down to percentages, there could be a little tweak. You never know. But besides from that, the skills, I, I can see them all being exactly what they are. Pictures and everything else. So when it comes down to getting leaks ahead of time from Ethiogen, everything is has been proven to be on point multiple times. So this is a, ran- this is a random question, real quick. Um, mm. With with Achilles, uh, something I've noticed, and maybe I'm wrong with this. Just somebody correct me if I am. I noticed with Achilles, is wasn't his original prestige skill just like twenty percent, like base human health? There wasn't the damage aspect to it. Wasn't it just base health for the prestige skill initially? I don't remember. No, I don't remember. Well, because well, I looked and I just now, I could have sworn it was just base health because I looked recently and I was like, wait, base health and damage? When did they add the damage part? Because I wasn't going to, because in my, when I got Achilles, I had no interest in prestiging him because it was just like, eh, it's just health. I might do it eventually. But once I saw that it was health and damage, I was like, oh, that's a prestige skill worth leveling up. I feel like they've started tweaking prestige skills here and there. And it, I don't feel like it's something they're putting in the patch notes. They're just kind of doing it. No, no, no. That, that's that's how they're doing some of these quote unquote reskills. They're not reskilling the whole Titan, but they're reskilling the prestige. And those are retroactive to all of them. Yeah, well, and that's what I was noticing. So, like, if they improve stuff like prestige skills, because, I mean, for me, that made my decision to prestige Achilles easy. It went from a absolutely no to a, oh, if I have the extra Titans laying around, sure. Because he's my favorite attack Titan. But, he is fun. you know, so I feel like they've been doing that, and I always search the patch notes, and I feel like a lot of these changes to these Titans, they're just not even, like, telling us about them. There was a few changes to Nephilimus and Grother that happened before they mentioned it, and that was a little like, hey, why didn't you tell anybody kind of thing? And then eventually it did come out saying that we did upgrade no Nephilimus and Grother, and it was like for the third time, but it did happen a few weeks before, and it was noticed by uh, particular certain players. So... Master uh, Master B, thank you for posting those uh, uh, those picks in the Discord. I do appreciate that. What do you guys think of Minerva? Raspberries. I think Minerva is really great. I like her, even though I don't have. Her I yet. just got her <laughs> simply because I I haven't gotten any of the other archmages, and I was just kind of like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. And the, the only reason why I got her was because a I just wanted to get one of them, but also because it was like. Minerva, Roman goddess. I was like, ooh, legionary's cool. <laughs> right? So, yes, definitely cool. Plus, they, they did really good with her model, too. I think her model like, looks really cool. Um, I think, especially that she's you know a physical titan, also, I think, is actually a really good thing, because I think there's a lot of physical titans out there. So I feel like she's going to be really well, easy to prestige. You're also getting some good relics as well. 
So that's oh, the, these relics in this event were freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. I was like, I did the whole event and I finished it already, and I was just like, I got Eros, which was a Titan I've been wanting forever. Now I'll probably hold on You're, to him because I still don't have Hachiman. I'm gonna say Raspberries so. if you want. Eros is a lot of fun, just as a just as an attacking Titan, forty one and above skill level. I mean, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Titan level is a lot of fun. You can just you can just go. And it's a lot of fun. And, and Ferranic says it's not a pass. Interesting, Ferranic. So you are you are well, going well, breaking news, Zalon. Not a pass n- by Ferranic. Not a pass oh. for Ferranic. So Minerva is is making Ferranic actually invest with his main account. Woohoo! Pay attention, DOT community. Pay attention. All right. Jesus. <laughs> not a pass. Ferranic, glad to hear it. So it's not Zalon. just it's not, not just as many that I'm gets the good up. Titans. Ferranic is I'm gonna get up. one of the new ones. You're finishing in Legends? I like that a lot of these skills on Minerva are like troop based and not like a specific unit based. We're seeing that more makes- and more and more of that in relics and in uh and in Titans, which is again making the whole uh pigeonholing certain titans to be just specific troops makes it so that the titans are becoming a little bit more universal which is cool when it comes down to what tr- what troops you're using yeah it, it gives you options and you're not like you know you don't have your hands tied Ethiogen says, yeah, new relics are pretty awesome, especially the five-star staff. Probably new addition to 7K pool. The rest are good, but so niche. Yeah, true. Well, uh, some of them are, you know, specific to their uh, pantheons but uh, or, 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 or synergies. But that uh, with you saying it's going to uh, new addition to 7K or Ethiogen. That's not a good feeling. Yeah, That's we've, all, we've also brought up the point of possibly just being on its own or being released in a Finnish Plus event. Hey, is it is it gay? Chance just told me he loved me on the phone. Oh, oh my goodness! No, he, he did. He did. He just called me. He said, "Love you, brother." Oh, jeez. Is that gay? Is that, is that called, gay? That's called mutual affection. Yeah, yeah. Okay. House, you're just okay. too old school to understand. That's all. Okay, I'm just curious. We love you, House. <laughs> no, see, see the didn't sing. Hey, hey, Darth, Darth, I love you. I love you, Darth. Love you too, man. Love you too. Is Alana love you, bro? House, did you put your grand, no. your great grandkids to bed yet? I don't have great kids. <laughs> I have kids. Alana, I have kids. <laughs> I wanted to use that for a few days now. It's like, man, that's I got to use my, that on a live stream. We'll be like, oh, my, did you put my, the great grandkids to bed yet, House? My my oldest said he's not having kids. Oh, okay. Pisces said that. Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. All right. Dark, dark. Wow. Oh. All right, dark, All right, no, dark. No, 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 no more thumbs up on your. No more thumbs up. No more thumbs up. Oh man. Oh, maybe you oh, just got like a like draw, with draw, draw, draw. Oh, my algorithm. Hmm. I also got some echo coming from you, Darth, for some, some reason. Darth, for some reason. I'm going to switch over to a different device. Okay. So everybody in the chat, 53 people watching, moving your relics around from Titan to Titan is a, yeah, PIA, yeah, I know. It's, that's why, Adam, we, a lot of times we're like, oh, a third ring of juice? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we need more. You know, oh, another banner of war. Yeah, why not? So now, I mean, if if they yeah, offer if they offer another three leaf clover, you know, uh, I'm sure many players will grab that too. So that's the luckiest three leaf clover I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Okay, was anyone else disappointed when um, they redid the uh, frig event, and then it was that random like? Sailing boat relic and not the Asgardian blade that was the synergy, bro. That's like Zalon and Aventador's favorite relic. What? Are, oh, you're talking the boat relic is great. Yeah, I picked up the boat relic super late, and I had I had to grab it. So, and I think it's going to work well with this new five star. So, Stop, don't rub it in Zalon. We don't have dev money. No, no dev I mean, money. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I. I grinded that old. I grinded that old turny. Oh well, yeah, if I could have, I, I, I would have. Relic. 
So I grinded a thousand attacks, man. Got it. Did you really, Darth? Yep. Dark, Dark was right. I grinded the whole thing too. We both grinded it. I think there. Hell is so fun to grind with. Well, yeah, I, so I have to agree. The, uh, if I could have grinded the entire event with Hell, I would have, because she is super fun to play with. Uh, that, that's the best reskill Titan I can, I can recall. But, oh, I, by far, by far. With that synergy of the uh, Axes of War, it's so uh, Actually, Wait. to be honest, I have her with the Hornet, and she's amazing with the Hornet. Shut, hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Yeah, this is... Oh, my gosh. Actually, I... I just, I just, I just do, the, I just do the vintage. I just, I just take her in one troop and I just throw her to the wolves. I'm like, oh, she's oh, dying. Oh, I'm gonna win. <laughs> she is so strong. Okay, man. okay. Listen to this. While I was grinding, I was thinking to myself, like, all right, rec- uh, what's it called? An, an old, a super old ad uh, uh, came up, and for some reason there was um, uh, uh, Wreck It Ralph in there, and I thought to myself. Now that I'm coming in with the uh, the golden uh, with the um, uh, what's it called the hornet with with uh, hell, I'm thinking to myself like some of these pong lands I go up against, I'm like if these troops were like in a Wreck It Ralph situation, where they're like, look at this, oh this battle's gonna be easy guys, look at this a titan with one it's an old hell and oh one troop oh this is gonna be easy and then all of a sudden you know it's like wait she's getting a critical. Oh, there's Omega t- Omega troops. Oh man, we'll we'll just kill the Titan. That'll work. And then kill him the Titan. It's like, oh no, more troops. <laughs> it's like, troops are dropping. The, the whole situation. I was like, man, if if, if that was the, the case, lawn, your little fantasies are. I'm just telling you. I love it when you come up with your. I'm just telling you. I was like, man, it would be so funny to see that. That's why I enjoyed. See, you get to enjoy a lot of great movies when you got kids. I'll tell you. Or. Ne- great nieces and nephews or you know a- a- any any time you get to ever watch any kind of kid movies when i watched that i was like man this is such a good movie for somebody who enjoys games <laughs> my kids loved pixels they they rewatched that one all the time even though it's old the adam sandler one they loved that one nice All right, Zalon, what's the soul count, buddy? Oh, it's not that high. I've just started using the three stars that I got from the packs. I used all the twos last night and got up to about three thousand. But now, um, now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pull a bunch of relics here on stream too to give me a nice. You mean you don't boost. quad stack like Darth Shigong? No, 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 no. Darth I'm not quad. Everybody I'm not stacks quad, relics, right, Darth? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm not quad stacking. I, I, sing, I single stack just well, to make sure I stretch everything out and get, get well, all, all the, all the souls that I need. Darth, Darth's got Jeff Bezos money. Yeah, Darth, Darth's going deep, bro. That's true. He is. He is. Okay, <laughs> the range on these archmages is ridiculous. This being the first one I've gotten, the range of these things is ridiculous. Like, this is insane. Right? This Does is Minerva true. actually kill anything? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No, she, not really. Because, man, Crystalis is awful. No. Well, I, the, the, yeah, the, if you're talking about going up against single troops like Goliaths, it's, look, no damage. And then there goes the horde. They took care of everything. So yeah, but Necromancer most, most, and all the other Archmages do not do damage against single troops. They only can really do damage against the battalion units, which is... Yeah, not annoying. against single entities, but against group troops they do. Yeah, battalion units, yeah. Um, so BMT says, as he posted his channel, he says, another early stream tomorrow with special guest, in, in quotes, I hope. So we will see. BMT, your teases are incredible, bro. Keep them coming. It's going to be good. Thank you. Thank you, BMT. We do appreciate your weekend streams. Definitely during this event, there's a lot of people doing it. And I'm sure there will be people wanting to wake up with BMT. Not House, because he'll still be asleep. Because he's on the West Coast. I I get up like at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? All right. Uh-huh. At night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a vampire. Straight There's vampire. Darth. House. There's Darth. No, no. Five, five, six hours sleep. I'm good. Hey, House, remember that first time you missed your very first stream? 
with Chan. That was I, don't, I, I don't, but now I'm going to have to stream because his, his uh, internet sucks. Mm. Oh, you're going to host on Sunday? Oh. I am. Ooh, he's hosting on Sunday. Nice house. Breaking news. I'm liking this. I'm liking this BMT Saturday morning and House and Chance uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, this is uh, it's like adult cartoons on Saturday. Mm, yeah, that's all cartoon. I just I just talked to Chance. He he's at a bar right now, mm. and he loves you. We heard he did, and he's going to get cigarettes. Oh, oh. <laughs> he just he just called me. <laughs> Oh, oh, no way. Look who joined Discord. Oh, boy. Someone who hasn't joined in a long time. Pretty interesting. It's D. How you doing, D? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. You sound like you're driving. We are in the car, and this is the first time we got 4G. It was, what was it before? Uh, it was like less than 2G. <laughs> less than 2G? <laughs> oh, boy. It was really bad. So it's the Minerva event, D. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty wild. There's a lot of people very excited for this Defender. Is it a good Titan? I, I honestly yes. don't know. I, I, as of yeah. my, te- my test stream the other night... <laughs> Uh, it, uh, you know, I didn't have anybody that beat my P10 at all. P7, yes, and P4, definitely, but the, uh, uh, P10 was holding very strong. Now, since then, I have lost twice that I could tell you, but that was, uh, that was about it. So, uh, she is definitely a, uh, good defender, I would say. So, you're on your way back from where, D? We were in Page, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. I can I can hear you. We can hear you. You can? Yeah. Okay. So we were in I don't know what they are. We we were in um Scottsdale, Arizona mm-hmm. for my conference. And then we went to the Grand Canyon. Um and then we went to Page to see Horseshoe Bend and Antelope Canyon and now we're driving back to Phoenix right now. Wow. I don't know how much I don't know how much of that you got. No, we got it all. That was good. My, that sounds like a nice throat trip. My hurts from, from yelling at drum. Oh, your throat hurts <laughs> from yelling at him? Oh, well, that's understandable. That's yeah, understandable. Maybe. <laughs> mm. Well, welcome welcome to the desert. Right? So Yeah, it's, it's unreal. He keeps looking around like why don't we live here? This is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you could do it, D? You think you can move out uh, out west? Maybe when I retire. Oh, okay. I see. Well, it sounds like a great trip. When do you th- when will you be back to uh to New York? Because all the leaders in NTG are like, I can't believe he's not around. No, <laughs> everything's working out great. Trust me. Uh, I can hear you so on. What, you can't hear me? No, I don't think she can. Oh, it's possible. I think she, I think she might have fallen she, back she, into two, 2G zone. You never know. No, no. She's, she's going through desolate. I know exactly where she's going through. Nice, nice area, but yeah. Do you still have service? This Arcalapinum relic is really freaking good. Arizona, where she's at, is nice. Great retirement town. Oh, I well, see. There you go. Great retirement. So, on, if you've never been out west coast like that, Arizona, I, I suggest you take it. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm, well, I I think I the might. Front. be... I from, think I think I'm definitely going to be checking out some uh, some uh, from 
is a lot, honestly, from back east of what you're used to, to going out west. Mm-hmm. It's well, a I've, whole, I've been whole out sim- west twice. World. I've been to Colorado. I've been to Nevada, which was, uh, of course, uh, Las Vegas. But, uh, you know, I haven't been to Arizona. I haven't been to California. And I wouldn't mind making my way out there. It would definitely be a great experience. Definitely would. Hey, I've been back east a few times. It's completely different. Yeah. Welcome to wonderful, fast-paced, bad drivers. <laughs> yeah. We also got Shy in here, too. Thank you for joining, Shy, on this Friday night. Shy's in, Tennis- Shy's in Tennessee, so he doesn't know what we're talking about. It's all right. Hey, now, I live in Tennessee. I think I'm <laughs> As Grizz and Shy, Tennessee boys, they're going to be like, they don't, hey. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't know what we're talking about. Uh. <laughs> I've been to Arizona very much. Mm. Uh. I've been to Arizona. I've been to California. I have been to Oregon, and I have been to Washington. So, oh, I got that whole West Coast taken care of. I had family that lived out there for a while, so nice. most most of the West Coast is screwed up. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, you talking I'm, about family? I'm, not wrong. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you're not wrong. I'm moving Midwest. I'm moving Midwest. Uh, you trying to up? You trying to upgrade their the house? Uh, I might go to like Colorado or Utah. Okay, you're gonna go move next to uh, move next to Vintage. You know what? It's more uh, to be honest with you. It's more of kind of Middle Earth America. It, it truly is. You don't have the East Coast. You have you don't have the West Coast. You kind of have middle, more middle. So that's where I'm at. I'm good. Oh, it, uh, if, it, if D, if you could still hear, BMT wants to know if you did the helicopter ride over the Grand Canyon. If you can hear us, please let us know. I'd like to know. <laughs> Because I have not done something like that, and that sounds pretty neat. I have gone on helicopter rides before, but not over the Grand Canyon. Expensive and not that impressive, Zolan. I've done it a couple times. Oh yeah, house. Oh really? In your in your own private house helicopter or? No, but I've done it. We we took it out of Vegas a few times. Mm-hmm. We did what? Take the helicopter. You did not take the helicopter, D? Well, we hiked down halfway. Halfway. Halfway? Nice. Yeah, we went as far as they would let us um, in a day. Yeah. I think six miles. Six miles. Yo, it was drum like, we could go further. We could go further. They're like, no, you can't go any further. <laughs> Actually, I was like, let's do it. Let's just go. And he's like, "You're not. we're not going to be able to get back. I was not a slug. Oh my god! It was like it was super steep. What? Did Dr- did Drum have to throw you on his back uh, over his shoulder and carry you back, or no? At one point, no, that was today, right? Oh, he had to carry you back today. Oh, geez. he was joking. No, he wouldn't put me down. I was like, put me down. <laughs> so they're, they're they're in Prescott, where dry and windy and a lot of golf courses. All right, D. You didn't uh, you, you didn't answer this earlier. You probably didn't, couldn't hear me. But when when will you be back from your trip? Um, tomorrow tomorrow night. Right. Okay, so the Saturday you, night. Saturday night. So you still have like a, a whole day left, more or less. No, it, it's like a flight day because it's like a six hour flight. Yeah. And a three hour time difference. So we're basically wasting nine hours, kind of. Yeah. Um, in the air. Yeah. Mm. So I, we leave at like ten in the morning, and we land. I don't know, like after seven. Mm. And then all you want to do is get home. Uh, well, yeah, but once we get to the airport, we still have to beat that JFK traffic back to you know the burbs. Yeah, all the I burbs. want to do is get home and make pizza. All I want to do is get home and make pizza. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to get home and make pizza. I want to make a pizza. 
Mm. I hope our basil's still alive. Oh, jeez. It might have sprouted. Oh, oh it, I hope it sprouted. No, what? It, no, it, 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 it oh, flowers, for it's flowers, done. I'm done. Yeah, you're done. Game over. I'm done. They, Game over on the they basil. Don't have, they don't have basil in Arizona? I don't know, but these are my basil plants. Oh, and they're her babies, apparently. <laughs> oh. They're my babies. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. Well, Drum thank you for joining while you're in your car ride. Yeah, well, it, you know, as long as I can hear you. We we were kayaking where? In, uh... Yeah, we had to kayak an hour and a half on this river that was, like, impossible. <laughs> no, it wasn't Colorado. It was Lake Powell. Uh, Lake. Uh, I think it was Lake, Lake pa- actually. Lake Lake Powell, she was on Lake the, Powell. Lake, Lake Powell was awesome. Well, oh did my you, God! Did you it guys take any cool pictures? Even if there's ones pictures without you guys in it, did you take some cool pictures? We took tons of cool pictures and oh. I took videos. I took videos of drum like winding through these like um, it was like they were it was like a canyon type thing, but like the the wall there were walls of um rock on either side of him and he was like ducking and like slithering and trying to called, slithering and sliding <laughs> it, it's called the canyon d yeah it was, it was the canyon <laughs> <laughs> what he said uh, right see captain howdy says this reminds me of how much the community misses the d and drum show i know right captain howdy mhm <laughs> I know. I don't know where we are. Wait, I know. Might want to just yeah, but this is little. this is D and Drum on the road. <laughs> They're adventures. This should be a YouTube. Well, at show. least you know where you are, and you're not telling people you're in you're in France when you're really in Italy. So. <laughs> in France when you're really in Italy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he said. France. And I was like, you mean Italy, Venice, Italy, Venice, France. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know where you are. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah. So what else is going on? Well, Ferenic says he's you. impressed that D was able to just drop the game for a while. Very impressive. Well. I, oh, my it's God. Ferenic. I couldn't get in. Oh. Tell them how I was freaking out that I couldn't get in the game. Uh, man. Oh, God. So, wait a second. Hi, Dee. Did... Oh. oh, Val jumped oh. on just for you, Dee. Oh, look at that. Hi. <laughs> I had to go to the Starl Pick to get some. Something to drink. Oh, Jump says we're on our way to your house. <laughs> on our way to my house? Yeah, that's what he said, but I don't know where he is. Okay. <laughs> we'll be there shortly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yeah, drum said, water. have drinks ready." That's what he said. <laughs> have drinks ready. Yeah. Well, they're in, they're they're in Arizona, Val. Yeah, are oh, you in Arizona? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, I got my COVID <laughs> shot yesterday. Oh, nice. Oh. No, I don't no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, no? No. <laughs> Maybe I'll start feeling. I'm sure I'll start feeling better. Like. I went to get more coconut water too. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you guys are in Arizona. Yeah, we've been Friday of last no last Friday. Last um, Friday. Where, where are we? We're right outside Sedona. We're driving. She's in Italy right oh, now. <laughs> no, I was in Scottsdale <laughs> last Friday till Wednesday. Then we went to the Grand Canyon. Then we went to Page, Arizona, and now we're heading back to Phoenix. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it's been action-packed. I'm losing my voice, yelling at drum. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen him today. He put the freaking sunscreen in my dry bag. No, is it a wet bag? Is it dry bag? Yeah, and the, stu- the stupid cap came off, and he got sunscreen all over my day pack. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah, this thing squirted out the entire bottle of something was empty, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, how did you not hear it go like, like while we were kayaking? He's like, I did, but I didn't know what it was. 
really, <laughs> really. So now I have this ho- like horrible sunscreen stain, like an oil stain. And every time we got a, like a whiff of wind, I smelled like sunscreen. It was bad. He's in trouble. <laughs> this trouble. is the <laughs> best. I miss you guys. Hi, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said it was better than some of the BO some people. Oh, my God. Some people don't wear deodorant and they yeah. walk by you like hiking yeah. and you're like, whoa, you have to like hold your breath. And you're in a canyon. Like, oh. You can't go anywhere. Like, <laughs> you can't go yeah. anywhere. You're just pushing each other yeah. like, get yeah. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm short, so when someone like reaches up at the grocery store to get something and they're not wearing deodorant, you smell everything and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> it's like really bad. Those, those people are called the Indians. No, no, <laughs> so they are. They are. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, speed limit seventy five. That means you can go eighty two. No, that doesn't. That's not what it means. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it means to a New Yorker. Actually, you might even. No, no, no you can just add no, ten. It, no, you can just add no, ten for New you, Yorkers. You cannot. No, you cannot. Okay, go ahead, try it. That's more like ninety. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Eighty-two. I think eighty-five will get you a ticket because then you'd be ten over the speed limit. So as long as no. you're not ten over. Yeah. So are you no. in a rental? D? What like kind of what kind of vehicle did you no, rent? No, it, yeah, we're in a rental. That's not. That's not West Coast is a hundred. Be careful because Arizona has um, <laughs> voter radar on the highway in some places. Not only that, not only not only that, you start going through those things, you don't you don't get tickets. You get to go see the judge. Oh, well, now with COVID, you can't see the judge, but you'll have yeah, to see but, 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 <laughs> some driving okay, classes. Okay, but not okay. So you don't get to go see the judge during COVID, but sometimes through those little towns, you get a ticket. You get you go to the judge. You don't get a ticket. Yeah, there's a place in Payson going when we go to New Mexico that has it goes from like fifty five to thirty five in like just a mile, and Everyone usually gets a ticket there because it doesn't like you can't really see that it changes, but I just know it's there because I've gotten a ticket there before, right? Terrible. It is. I've I've done that through part of Arizona going towards Texas, and then I got a ticket, and the guy's like, "Ticket, you got to go see the judge." I'm like, "Judge? Are you kidding me? <laughs> judge? Judge? Yeah. What do you mean, judge? He's like, <laughs> no, you have, you have to go in front of the judge." And I'm like. Wait a minute, California is just a ticket. Write me a ticket, I pay it. Nope, oh, wow. go see the judge. Just plead guilty and just say, yeah, that was it was me. <laughs> nope, I, I didn't do that. It's like I argue with him. Yeah, you. Yeah, I, I know you fought at house. You're you're definitely the person that fights those tickets. I I did, and and, and I got double the fine. <laughs> did you really? Yep, I did. It was like two hundred and thirty five dollars and then ended up being like six hundred. My wife's like You're Shut up, me. dumbass. You're kidding me. You yeah, fought I would have said it and you got too. double oh house. I was I was driving my my uh mother's I think it was a nineteen eighty nine Cadillac DeVille at the time. My wife's like, Shut up, stupid. It's like I I would, I would have sold one of your figurines to pay for yeah. it. Yeah, I would have. I would. That, have, that's that, a good call, Val. That's a good call because he I'm talks like about them all the time. Val, I'm like, I'm only doing ninety one. <laughs> I'm only doing ninety one. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Scottsdale is all golf course. <laughs> Brannick was talking about the Scottsdale's. Yes, but they're nice with, with their with their famous golf courses. It's true. Well, a lot, lot, a lot of Arizona is very windy. It's crazy with the golf courses here. We, I flew, I flew into Phoenix one time from Southern California. We flew out of Ontario, and we were going for a business meeting. And the airplane, I swear to God, was going sideways. I was looking out the window and looking at the went, runway, and I'm like, "You kidding me? Are we sideways?" Yeah. That's, that's how bad the wind was blowing. It's been windy here today. It's been extremely windy here today. Extremely windy. And it, it, it just has to do with, uh, what's it called, some of the storms that have been passing through. But pretty nuts. Like 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. It's not 
common for us to have that. So it uh, was uh, a it, it, really nice day. Like when it came down to it was like sunny, a little like passing shower, but for the most part, sunny the whole time and like 70 degrees. And I was like, wow, these winds are just out of nowhere. So, of course, made work uh, a little bit more difficult, but whatever. Got through the day. That's good. Of course, of course. But everybody goes, oh, I guess we don't have to blow off the properties. I'm like, no, we still have to blow them off. It just goes into the gutters, and people hate that. (laughs) And what I'm talking about is, like, the sidewalks and the uh, driveways. So... That's right. (laughs) Keeping it real. I just have to deal with a bunch of young kids. So, of course, they're like, oh, we don't have to do this. I'm like, no, we do. (laughs) That's that drum's name for you. (laughs) Oh, no, that was that was that was something that one of the other uh, workers from previous years (laughs) called me Poppy Chulo. Oh, okay. I would have been worried. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I can hear it outside. Man, it is really loud. All the trees are all going wild. It is really windy. Yeah, same for you, Ricky Nomad. Yeah. Well, I can just only imagine waking up. I do have to go to work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to stream too late. But I do appreciate everybody joining in. And, of course, if you're joining in now or have joined in over the past half hour or so, no. we went o- we went over all the new leaked relics earlier in the stream, so make sure to go and check that out. But um, with work tomorrow morning, I can only imagine that there will be possibly, not the main roads, obviously, but some of the side roads may be like, closed because, like, Trees are down. Easy. There's way too many old trees on some of these uh, country roads. So hopefully that won't be too much of a problem tomorrow morning. So what's the weather like? It's super windy. There's a lit like when I open sure. when I op- when I open the weather app, it goes. There's an extreme weather war or er, a uh, wind warning for your area. <laughs> but besides from that, it's uh. Like I said, like 70 degrees pretty much every day now. 60 degrees. So, not too bad. Yeah, I think we're in the 90s. Well, it's it's uh, remember, we're co- we're coming back up. Everyone that lives here goes through multiple changes when it comes down to what's hot and what's cold. You know, when it's during the winter time, a 40 degree day is a warm day. <laughs> you know, because at nighttime it gets down to, you know, 10 degrees, 12 degrees. But, you know, we have we we slowly adapt with everything. So, yes, right uh, right now uh, hot is considered 70, 80, but eventually a few months from now, I'll be saying it's a, it's like 90 degrees out here. It's 100 degrees. So, yeah, it it, it all just slowly gradually changes again. And then we go back down. And I know some I some people hate that. Some people can't stand dealing with those kinds of uh, climate changes, and that's why living nope. farther north is not as not as popular with certain people. I I don't I I don't know how you deal with that. Honestly, I don't. It's just something I was born. I mean, this I I I'm born and raised in Pennsylvania, so I've never known anything different. So my body just gets used to it. Yeah, I mean, we, we, man, we don't get below 50. Oh. That's, you know. You know what, then again, we pay for it. <laughs> that's, that's, I can, I, uh, well, I mean, remember, when it comes down to it, wintertime, we have to, we have to make sure we, the people heat their houses. You know what I mean? It's not something that you have to be, uh, no, be, be, I understand. be, to be, I understand do, be that. concerned about, but. You know, either if you, especially your electric bill going from maybe like, you know, a hundred, maybe, well, family, a family household, maybe like $150, $200 electric bill to like five, 600 bucks a month just because your house runs on electric heat. I mean, that, that makes a huge dent to people when it comes down to those months out of the year. Yeah, but we, we don't have, I mean, you're shoveling snow, you're doing that, but I, nothing. 
it rains less than 30 days a year out here. Hmm. That's rain. Yeah. Well, we're getting a lot. Well, I'm just, I've noticed that this year we've gotten a lot more snow. Well, I'll, we've gotten more snow than last year and we've already gotten more rain than last year. So things are, I think there's going to be a lot, you know, it's going to trend more towards a more wet summer than, than it was last year. Cause we had some serious like drought issues, at least in June and July last year. So we'll see what happens. Which means hopefully a few more rain days for me, which means hopefully more, more, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, live streams and uh, and and okay. uh, and videos in the future. Just because when I'm able to do that earlier in the day, because I have a rain day, I will more UK EU friendly streams for all the people that are rewatching this tomorrow and and are big fans of the live streams. Yeah, I'll be able to do those more often when we have more rain days. So let's let's hope that that continues <laughs> with this season. Oh wow, wow! So hey, Zon, so how many months are you laid off? Uh, what? Uh, it's uh, usually uh, what is it? Uh, about th- it's about three, sometimes four. Just depends. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's and I don't wow. mind at all. So <laughs> I don't mind. You're like a school teacher. You get laid off it. Well, you realize that both months. of my parents growing up were school yeah, teachers. I know. So again, being able to have that time and, uh, you know, I, I spend it as wisely as I possibly can with it, trying to spend as much time with my daughter as I can. Uh, and well, I mean, last year was a, a lot more difficult to do such things like that, but, you know, as much as I could and or any of my other family, because uh, especially, obviously not tomorrow and Sunday, but the following weekend for Mother's Day, which I'm glad is not a Meta Titan event, um, we're, uh, I'm going to be uh, picking up Princess Z, and we're going to see my mom on Saturday, the day before Mother's Day, because I'm not going to spend any more time, now that the weather's nice, in waiting to take her. So, it is definitely time. It's going to be awesome. Are your parents vaccinated or no? Yeah, they just got their second one on the 20th of April. Oh, so. oh well, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah, they both have it. Oh, well, well, well good. Good. So, congrats, you guys. Fine, I just don't like seeing with the older people. So, oh well, yeah, especially with the fact that my dad's what seventy five and my uh, mom's uh, sixty six. So I mean, yeah, neither one of them want to have any kind of problems or issues that aren't something that is not is naturally going to happen. They can av- if they have possibilities of avoiding any any kind of other problems, they most definitely take precautions to do so. so. Good, good, good. Because, like for instance, my dad's family has been known for like heart problems and stuff like that. So my dad's been on like cholesterol medicine since he was like fifty. So when it comes down to like stuff like that, it, it, you only can prevent things so much. But you know, obviously. You know, eating as best you can, exercising as best you can, and obviously, you know, taking certain medications if necessary to be able to help you, you know, but. Usually if it runs in the family, it just runs in the family. Exactly. But like I said, you you can can make it so that, all right, it could either happen to you in your 60s because you're just not caring about anything and you just let it happen. Or Correct. it could happen to you in your seventies or eighties because yes, you actually did but, take precautions. So yes, I, I agree. But like my family has high blood pressure, and it mm. didn't matter what I did. Guess what? You're getting put on a high blood pressure medicine. True. In your 40s. Now I'm not going to say that there's, what, there's a lot of cases. And again, you're 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 right. You're right. I mean, I already kind of figure that at some point I'm just going to eventually be a type two diabetic at some point, and I, I just, you know, just enjoying what I can right now. But I, I, at some point, it'll just happen, and I'll be like, all right, well, I guess it just like my grandfather <laughs> before he passed away for like a good uh, fifteen. Oh, it was almost twenty years when he after he found out he was a type two diabetic, he just said that he would just eat tw- like he, he would eat two portions of my grandmother's cooking, and then he was like, all right, well, I'll just eat one portion now. So his life wasn't dramatically changed. Like he had, he couldn't eat anything that he liked anymore. 
but he just had to eat a lot less and pay attention to what he uh, um what he was uh what he was doing so I'm not gonna it, it it really comes down to genetics in the long run i mean you 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 do make a point that you can face it off for a while but mm-hmm. it's coming well it's always well you can also say that you know for everyone it, you know, death is going to come at some point. So, yes, of course, it's it's, it's going to be an ultimate situ er, <laughs> ultimatum situation. Yep, you're you're right; it's coming. So don't worry. But while you're here, we'll keep you entertained here on Friday night. Don't and, you worry. And, we got we got enjoy. House, we got Darcy gone, we got D and Drum still here on their on their ride, and oh. v- Vintage is still here, and Shy and Val. I'm I'm assuming Vintage probably had to peace out for a little bit to make dinner. Um, so, cause he's the grill master, but, uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you what house, if you do get a place, um, you know, I'm sure it would be, uh, uh, it, it would be fun if you m- move close to vintage in his neighborhood, then you can go and shoot guns. Mm-hmm. Well, me, you know what, actually I, you know what, me and vintage, me and vintage have a lot of the same, uh, I should say views. Oh, Okay. He's a little more kind of centered. I'm a little more off to the right, mm-hmm. but the views are views are pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. So, but don't give don't give Vintage any responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> I, I already I vent, I already told uh, Extinction. He, I'm gonna trade uh, Chance and Churro for Vintage back to ERU. Oh, so we're we're playing uh, we're playing uh, uh, what's it called uh, like rosters with teams now, huh? So, so so Chance and Churro got traded to, to the Raiders, and we get Vintage back. We get Vintage back. What do you it's think like, about it's that, like Val? What do you think about for a holographic card? Right. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Exactly. It's like I want to. Let's see. Yeah, I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want a holographic Darth Chigong <laughs> and a foil. A foil and ver- a wrinkled churro. Yeah, a wrinkled uh, a wrinkled chance. churro. Yeah, wrinkled churro. A wrinkled churro. And my and, 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 and my and my chance. Wait a minute. Who is churro? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. I've not, I've not uh, heard of Churro like in weeks. Oh, well, actually, I, okay, House, you do make a good point. Churro, when is the next live stream that you may be doing? Thank you, Churro. Churro's just gone silent. No, oh, no. He's like, oh. uh-oh, now I got called out. It's all your fault, House. I out, so I lost the internet connection. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, so Churro, Churro, yeah. Churro went silent. He's like, wait, who? Uh, who? Huh? 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 So, 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 Chur- <laughs> so, so, Chur, when do you think you might do a live stream again? There's no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> oh, dude, I miss streaming, bro, but my, I don't have the laptop for it right now. Okay. <laughs> so, hopefully, I don't know. I want to try and get something going on, sun- on Sunday. I finally had some time to. No, it. you can't do Sunday, Chur. It's already cake, already. Wait, wait, wait what time? But, no, no, you can you do know, you stream but- Sunday for the procrastinators and the grinders that are yeah, finishing. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm. That's- yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Darcy yeah, Gon will be Sunday. there. He's a grinder. He's like, grinders want Wait, Sunday streams. You, you, no, dude, that's uh, prime time, man. On Sundays, any, any any Sunday evening stream is prime time, bro. Mm-hmm. Tra- all grinders, you know what Tra- 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 Chance is not going to be happy if you break into our, our stream. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't double book myself. Double that's booking. <laughs> although, although yeah. pr- now, Prometheus is not here, but when he, when he streamed at the same well, time that Chance and House did... I th- I loved it. I thought it was so good. Oh my god, that's Chance, too funny. Chance can't stream though, so I'm gonna have to stream, and Chance is gonna have to run Discord. Do it. Yeah, you should see. I, I sent him my pictures. Like, oh, then I gotta send you the thumbnail, huh? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and he goes, "I'll say, uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll set you up an omelet." And I'm like, "Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a big old screw off." <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. Uh, so, uh, no, so I want I want to hear what Val has to say about this trade. Are you gonna Are you willing to trade vintage Val, or what's going on here? Let's, uh, I just want to see if she if she has. Wait, any... Val, Val's in what server one, right? 
Oh, I think so. There. I actually, I think you're right on the server one because I was over there, or no, maybe it was server two, because I was over there uh, with my test account this week. So, dude, this this guy we have in our alliance is an animal. Oh my god, animal, <laughs> dude, man, oh my god, bro, insane. Oh. I love it, dude. I was like, my he, goodness, I I can't he, believe it. He is crazy. I know, dude. Yes, that's, what, mean, that's, 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 man. that's the situation when you just accept your trade. You're like, all right, I'll, exactly, okay, that's fine. Exactly. That's exactly. it. <laughs> they, they, get, they get the top still on. The top guy we have is crazy. Yeah. I so think it was already it, it, are we you, talking well, like, you guys are we talking there. like chance and house it's crazy? Tough. Are we talking no, like, no, 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 VP crazy. Oh, VP He's crazy. Okay. Okay. And, yeah. We got to specify animal. what kind of crazy we are here. Okay. Okay. So long, I oh, think, yeah, yeah. I think like 35 or 40 million VP. By the end of the season, it'll be at 40 easily for sure. He'll be at 50 over 50. Uh, oh, you less. hear this extinction? Listen to these VP numbers they're throwing around here. I'm at, I'm almost at twenty million. I'm in third. Yeah, kind of crazy. Slacker. Yeah. <laughs> Godan, Godan's probably like this isn't this isn't uh, good Godan, enough, house. No, dude, I got like two thousand battles, and I'm in third. That's wild. Did you end up grinding the midweek event, house? Is that what's I, going I, on? I did. Oh, oh Nitrum nice, did sixty-one awesome. million. Awesome. Nice. That's awesome. I did. Uh, I did uh, the. I grinded the, the event before, and then I grinded the frag event. So the thirty-one and the seventeen. Jeez, dude! Wow. I was gonna grind this one, but there's no these. The, God, these guys in legends. There's no PP set up. Wait, yeah. well, what, wherever like you guys are, people. maybe not, but there is oh. where I am. I, I'm in legends oh, wait, three. That's a- Legends 3 Yeah, I figured at. we weren't in the same server because I didn't see you in a bunch of the other NTG shells. And I'm like, oh, man, who logged in early? <laughs> yeah, dude. Because that helps a lot, dude. You guys are... Well, see... Uh, you guys I, are I, okay, that's the thing, plans. though. When, when you, if, if, if... Now, this stuff... When it does happen, D has things in place <laughs> that people just move. It's just automatically move to a different server. We don't stick around most. Uh, it rarely happens anymore where we stick around uh, because somebody early logged in. We'll just move. So you have all that coordination. It's just next level. It bro. takes that well. It so takes crazy. you. It takes you at least twenty four hours to get um, almost ninety percent of your team moved. So yeah, absolutely. Which is so wild to me, but. Yeah, it's possible, but it's just that that's all that kind of stuff is just so much fun to be around with, you know, that level of activity. Oh, yeah. On server one. Nice. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, being able to coordinate your I, uh, no. proper servers and stuff like that. I, I thought we were server two. No, we are, dude. We definitely are. Uh, we're we're active. I don't yeah. d- I don't doubt it, house. I mean, Don't. it's just. I just love the fact that when I, I I literally will step out of game for like fifteen minutes and come back and throw you like a hundred plus messages in chat that I have to catch yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's so cool, dude. Everyone's just chopping it up. Sometimes we'll nerd out on music with like a couple of the guys in there, and then or or plan for like you know, VP hunting and stuff. And we always got like two or three guys like uh, players that are scouting lands. It's 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 nice, man. It's it's awesome. I love it. It, it's it's constantly messages going, which yeah. which is which is really cool. That's I'd have yeah. to agree. That's I mean, I, I I wish the bottom would would do more, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I think yeah, but then I feel like uh, you know it does, it does take a while, man, to get everybody on the same page, and everyone's scheduled at the same time, so it fluctuates too. You know, so. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, do for events. Or sometimes people are at the bar, so. like Chance, you know. Yeah. No, but you know what? Oh, I thought you were calling me out because I just left the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know to, to be honest with us, it's uh, it's in between the VP and doing the tourney. I mean, so we kind of got a happy medium. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I don't but know. I, 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 when the, when the 1.4 is like a, a decent meta attacker, that's when the, it stays consistent VP wise. Cause then people will like either finish the event and still grind with that player. For example, like the other one with Mahaha being 1.4, dude, yeah, everybody was, well, I felt like everybody was pretty good on that one because Mahaha is able to attack just pretty much anything, you know? So, but when you have like, you know, a Runa, one, you know, who has a 1.4, oh, maybe man. only option, it's like, dude, yeah, you're going to just have to grind extra to get those 2k VP from like, you know, your resource lands just so you don't oh, avoid losing. It's I brutal. Was, I was grinding oh, with my. the key. I was grinding with the Keelys, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. You, you're getting you're getting prestige in this new Titan. You suck. <laughs> Such a letdown. Oh, well. uh, it's all good. Achilles is garbage. Man, oh, I like Achilles. I like Achilles. Get out of here. I loved, dude. I loved when he first got out. I mean, I I do like the prestige that it does boost base health and damage, but it's just. I, he just need a little bit extra more in that in that relic. I think oh. I know, something else. But it's all good. Whatever. He still does his. He's still good. I mean, if you have, no, I mean, I think for conquest, he's pretty cool too. I, I just uh, like, uh, like uh, if I can grind with him in an event, dip. I will just because he's he's a good grinder. So. Oh yeah. So on the choppy block to prestige ten Minotaur, Eros, Freya, the new Freya. No, don't throw yeah. the new Freya. Minotaur's out. Minotaur's out for sure. Min- yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah, gone. gone. If you're gonna Freya, do it, I'll keep Freya. Freya's a no, time. no. Freya's you garbage. don't think so? Oh no. no. Yeah. Dude, remember, remember, nasty. remember. House has like got this whole elite dot thing going on. Elitist, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think about the new hell? I love the new hell. <laughs> I love, I love the new oh. hell. I love the new hell. I think it's awesome. Yes. Do, what do you, do you guys think that she does a little bit more than Sparky does? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry, too. man, it's rough because like you know the thing is it's kind of crazy. The uh, I have this build where it's like melee range and all elemental resists are all capped, and I'm just letting the maidens go ham, dude. They're just taking all sorts of damage and just taking everything out. Ian Gura's wiped out like crazy fast. Like it's 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 geez, this new hell is just something else, man. It's wild. Yeah. It, she's like the ultimate in mate shield ranged, where oh, you have so many freaking skeletons mm-hmm. that you can do pretty much whatever you want with your star maidens. It's cra- It's awesome. Yeah, and I, yeah, I also noticed too with because my favorite at part of and obviously she's got great skills, but it's just how fast she is on the field. Like those crazy long maps that we like have to deal with now, and it's grinding have actually like gotten a little quicker because she'll get to the furthest unit really quick and hit crit on the way, so you're able to place those omegas. And man, dude, grinding is just hella fun with it right now. It's super super cool. I love it. And yeah. I just can't believe ten omega maintenance, man. This is wild. Oh, I love it. I love the new hell. Probably. So you got a saw coming up next week, right? Best reskill. Yep. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. It's coming up. I can't wait to use her in a song. Yeah. She's going to be so, so much, much fun. fun. So much fun. And I have, let me take a quick peek here, but I'm at 9,000 souls. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, it's, uh, let's see what we got here. We got Epic Token. We got Gems. Okay. Probably can't get the Titan. Target Practice. We got it. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, <laughs> on, about time, dude. Yeah, oh, it, awesome. uh, it's, it's done deal. Nature's Call, always a really cool looking relic, and it was uh, had its own solo event a long time ago. But uh, target practice finally got it. Nice. Yeah, that's when uh, Talon came out. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh. I, feel, I always felt like it was a really had that really cool like Japanese vibe to that that Nature's Call. Yeah, with the Archer's Critical and Spearman Health. Yeah. Hey, oh, John. yeah. What? Fuse that, tar- fuse that target practice away. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. I'm keeping it forever. All right, so. Ever, ever. Yeah. <laughs> forever. 
forever and ever. No, I'll tell you what He's I will see. He's going to take a Polaroid of his phone and then hang the Polaroid of his phone on the wall so he can have time uh, to practice on his wall. Yeah, there on the wall go. forever. The yeah, relics I'll keep from this event are the Doozy, the Arca, the Solomancer, our Astral Crown, Bountiful Harvest. I'll fuse away because I already have one. Uh, Sky Shackles will get fused away. Uh, target practice will be kept forever. Nature's Call will get fused away. And everything else below. Bountiful Harvest. You don't get that very often. I I, I mentioned that earlier. I already have one, and I already maxed it, so I'll never I'll I'll, nice. I'll, I'll never have another one maxed. No, I don't find a yeah. reason to. So, but but it's got troop health and armor for all troops and Titan resist against ranged. Kind of niche because you got to care about that Titan resist against ranged. But so troop. So uh, target practice is one of the couple of the uh, thirty damage set. relics, right? Yeah, it's just like time worn doll. Yep, mm-hmm. time worn doll. Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, ancient sling, ancient sling. Yep, yeah. another one out there. Yeah. Pandora's, Pandora's box. Pandora's, Pandora's box. box. Pandora's yep. box. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. So, I wonder if they meant to. I don't know because I, I was listening to Darth's uh, video, and I just kind of find it odd that these relics. We're buffing Omegas, you know, archers. And I wonder if uh, that was supposed to be at one point maybe part of the build for Minerva. Having some Omegas that maybe a P10 or something. Because that would have been super gnarly. Well, yeah, it's kind of a, Yeah, the only type that uses Omega archers in this event would be Eros, but that's at P10. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Avalos' gift. Yeah. Ooh, that's another one. That's a good one, too. I like Avalos' gift. I got a couple of those. I got like three, Man, they can uh, three ancient relics. slings at this point. So, I just need oh, two of them are good. Yeah, need another one. As long as you have the relics, as long as you have the relics, you're good. Mhm, mhm. And that's why those leaks earlier tonight are gonna, you know, that's why people get really excited about really good relics when they're coming out, is because relics are forever. And Titans will come and go. Has anybody yeah, tried- they know that now. I mean, every event, even the you know the new new Titans relics are always the final rewards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Has anybody tried the new ship relic on on? Uh, I was going to try it on Zabs. To see how I'm going to max it during this event. The ship relic. I, I, so mine's, you know. mine's back. Oh, do you, did you snag one, uh, Zalon? Yeah, Churro, I did the event last day, basically. I went oh, from, nice. I went from like a few hundred <laughs> souls to finishing the last day. <laughs> Probably most of it, most of it within the last five hours. So, so, oh, so, dude, that's so awesome. you got spell damage plus like Titan health or something. I, I was just wondering how, wondering how it'd be on Zababa. I, well, it's gonna light, be good on Zababa, that's for sure. With, with the traveling lightning storms and all that, I mean, just crazy. Yeah, well, but it's it's really I, gonna make I'm a looking huge at the ship, rage. the ship relic added with the new uh, Archmage uh, five star is gonna be interesting. Yeah, you know, I'd like them to. I'd like to see a pretty cool, like a, a real good uh, reskill on arrows. And have that relic stack with the uh, Love's Arrow, because Love's Arrow, that third skill, if yes. I'm not mistaken, has rage damage, rage right? Rage damage, you're right. So I wonder how that would, yeah, so I wonder how that would stack up with like, with a proper reskill. Well, also with uh, Iron, and you Iron Rune, you can toss on Iron Rune, Oof. too. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Well, go go put the Staff Iron on, on one, and then put that, that thing on there and watch the rage damage go up. That's insane. Yeah, so it's at this cra- point, we're, you're going to be able to do an all rage build, like literally an all yeah. rage build. Just smoke through everything, dude. My goodness. So when they bring back raid boss, then we can have a gen shoe that hits for like twenty million. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're 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 not you're not getting. You're not I getting think it. I think when they re- bring back raid boss, they're going to bring it back with uh, literally. There's going to be phases. So, like a true raid boss should be, like in a lot of in a lot of different games out there, you don't just kill the boss, lickety split, and it's over. 
I honestly yeah, there's always underbosses. I think they're gonna they're gonna do something a little different with raid boss, and they will bring it back to the point where, and it would be cool if they did something also with dragons, so that you know they that where where you have to to take where you have to take down uh, like a uh, like an underboss or two in the same battle, and as soon as you do so, it spawns out other things, and you have to take them down too. So I, I honestly think if they're going to – that Raid Boss will come back out. And, so, so you got new and, stuff, new relics and all that. That's, so you think that's the only way DG they're going to be able to – anywhere near on the horizon? It, new, new what, DG Titans? Darcy gone? What was that? Did that lose you? I think – he said it's not new about DG Titans. I mean, I think DG new DG Titans are on the horizon. It's just the simple fact that it still may be a month or two. Uh, away. So, well, that was, uh-oh. That was but, weird. But why would you? Why would anybody pull DG Titans when it's all about relics? When you want to be, if 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 it's a life spark necrosis situation, house. Yeah. If, if it's a life spark necrosis situation. That is the time that you can you can shine for multiple months and not and just watch as everybody else still has to deal with whatever is coming out in the current meta. That's you know, but I, I was thinking about Life Spark and Necrosa today and how they can get two Titans so right, okay? So right. From a meta perspective, from a power perspective, they were almost perfect Titans for months and months. And then even when they tuned up their skills uh, after the Dragon Slayers, it was awesome again, okay? And it's like, if they can do that so well, why is everything else such a disaster, it's is that the uh, a broken clock is right twice a day kind of theory or what's going on with that? It's got to be. They well, nailed Life Spark and Necrosis. Yep. Just nailed it uh-huh. with those Divine Titans. So yeah, if it happens, it's that's why those tests house when Nephilimus and Growthorn came out and I did my initial tests and then they were like, oh wait, these are the right skills. Let's change it. And I did another test literally the next day. And then we still found out that they weren't where we wanted them to be. That was major, major decision making information. And so, and if that happens again, it will again make myself and many others question if they really want to do that. But if it turns out that they're way above and beyond where they're supposed to be, and it actually is a case where they're attractive. Well, then we'll see what go what happens from there. Dude, when when they reskilled Necrosa and Life Spark, I was like, oh my gosh, they're finally going to keep old Titans good and line them up with the new meta. And of course, that ends up not being the case. But it could have been so good. This meta could have been so good. But they just went, you know, Titan flavor of the week. They did it again and again and again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, but- I, I, I look back. I was thinking about doing like one last video. I was looking back at the calendar over the last two months. And it's like, you know, oh, well, here's Runa. Runa's a brick wall for a week. Guess what? The next week, uh, Crystalis comes out and just dumpsters that. Well, then the next week... You get Minerva out, and now nothing can beat that. It's like it's this idiotic meta flip every week or two, and it's well, just so okay. stupid. Well, maybe one hand doesn't know what the other one's doing. It could be. Maybe they have like one dude doing offense and some a totally different exactly, person exactly, doing defense or something. Exactly. Yeah. I've always felt like it's project groups because the transitions are so off. Oh, Black Town, you know I mean? thank Again, you very I much. Refer back. I always Jeez. refer back to the whole like war gods. Everything in the war gods again was great. Oh, and God. then war dragons, God. and then I, the transition was just like it. Just there was no, there was no understanding. It just didn't make sense how it went I, from one thing to the other. You know, it was just such an extreme shift. You and stuff. can't. So it's like hey, you can't be that far off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
and this goes back to my you need to defend 30 islands argument okay if you've been playing this game for like three or four years it should be the case that you have 31 or 35 decked out titans that are actually useful and that's why I don't understand <laughs> this whole so, ever increasing insanity. So I mean, you're, you're never going to have with that. reskills of the Greek Titans, the Norse Titans, you know, the previous Divine Titans, and then having this new meta come in with the Dragon Slayers. You could have had like 25 Titans that are actually present in the in the current game, but they did this stupid. You know, only three matter now. It's just why I don't get it, man. So what? It, so when you go look to go attack a land, you don't look for a dragon slayer or something in the meta. It doesn't matter. Oh, Minotaur. Yeah, easy. I'll blow through that in thirty seconds and, and take yep. the 11, 11 VP. So that's that's that was always my theory. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna stay in the meta. I'll get rid of Minotaur. I'll get rid of this. I'll just prestige all this. What good is it if it, if it doesn't defend? Yeah. yeah really? Yeah. Know, what good is it? it? Really, it's it's like hitting a PP land. Oh, big deal! You have Minotaur that's fully defended. Well, it only takes fifteen seconds to blow through. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is like the way power creep should work. And they call it power creep. Okay. Yeah. As in your new meta Titan to where you take a a two year old Minotaur. Well, two years ago, it took four minutes to beat it. Well, now today, it takes like a minute and a half. That's that's how power creep should work. To where Minotaur, at least it's still kind of a viable island defender. But like Hal said, my gosh, you take Life Spark against Minotaur now, it's a joke. It's a joke. It makes Minotaur totally useless, and you might as well fuse it away and get the XP from it. House, are you doing something with your mic? Okay. So, yeah, I just... They keep having these opportunities. And it's... Every time, okay? So it looks like we have one more Archmage. Which, again, presents a freaking opportunity to try and get this thing right. And it's just... It's unreal, man. Yeah. Anyway, so, I've so, been really so, frustrated with the game lately. I, Just, I, I, I can tell. Uh, here's, here's what's I can coming. tell vintage, but here's the relics the, got you excited okay. tonight, though. The relics did get you excited. I, I did. I did feel a little that. Bit. <laughs> but, but, but doesn't matter. So I know. here, everybody's wondering. Ooh, I wonder what this new, uh, you know, the the venom answer is going to be. Here's precisely what it's going to be. Okay. Guess what? We have this the physical brick wall defender. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think Minotaur. Okay. What's this new Titan going to be? It's going to be the Artemis answering Minotaur all over again. Yeah. This thing is going to be Life Spark times three. It's going to be utterly insane. It's going to have 1,500 armor piercing, and it's going to rip through your Minerva. You know, perhaps, maybe, if you have Dragonfly, you can still defend. But, you know, that's a whole different discussion about how one relic dominates the current meta totally. Yeah. You know, basically, if you have Dragonfly, you're the god of the game. If you don't have it, too bad, you're a have-not. <laughs> ben, ben is exactly right. It's just a big, vicious cycle. Yeah. Until we get into, you know, more than one No, that, being no, it'll, 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 it, but it'll, this will keep repeating. So again, with with the Venom answer, it looks like it's the last one. Maybe, yeah. maybe there's one more. Maybe. But instead of going, okay, we're going to have the next power spike with whatever the heck they dream up next time. Gosh, just balance it in, dudes. You I, know, you have these synergy relics. That's an opportunity to make old titans useful. So, you know, reskills make old titans useful. And by the way, on reskills. You don't have to make people pay for them every single time, man. Just reskill Loki, make him approximately as good as a broken. And if you happen to have a Loki, congratulations, you don't need the new one. 
I, I agree. That, that's I agree. The, that, yeah, yes. making skills retroactive is something they have yet to 100%. do. Only prestige skills have been retroactive, I, and relic, I, I agree. relics have been re- retroactive. But that's that's the only thing we've seen. They 100%. they always want you to get the new Titan, and that has been a constant pain for many players that have already gotten the Titan one time around. And again, Black Talon, thank you again for the donation. That was very kind of you. You know, just like the, the Valkyrie thing, why on earth would you change the, the skills and not have it be retroactive? First of all, it's not even good in the first place. Now you expect <laughs> players to want to pay for that? I mean, give me a break, man. Wait a minute. It was garbage. That, was that should have been a freebie. More garbage. Yeah, I would pay right. for more garbage. Thanks. Yeah, that should have been a freebie. You know, of course, the relics were still decent. Oh, yeah. But, you know, the Valkyrie reskill? I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> what's what's up, Indian? Good morning. Uh, I agree. Preach it. You know, I... If you think about, like, this Nurgle thing coming up, you know, interesting synergy relic. Right. Now, cool. if the Titan wasn't, like being triple overpowered by the current meta, dude, that could make Nurgle viable and fun again. You know, you can use him in war. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, dude, I'm sorry. Synergy Nurgle or not, and whether it's P10 or not, you're not getting through Minerva. Ain't happening. <laughs> you could triple the amount of shadows he gets and you're still not beating it. Yeah. It's just, you know... So if, you know, the arch, you, you take the dragon slayers, you tune them down, you take the arch mages, you tune them way down, you know, and now, like I said, you have like a spectrum of 20 to 30 titans that are actually viable. I mean, and then you have a choice because attacking now is boring. I take the current broken thing and I just go bomb everything. So. I'd rather have, like, way back in the day, you know, of course, rock, paper, scissors is gone. Now it's just, I don't want to take my giant hammer and slam it on something. Yeah. So, because that's how they get people to possibly make people compete in everything. Event. So, so, Venice, you haven't been attacked by a, a Ladega in, like, a couple of weeks? <laughs> yeah, right. Ladega? More like a couple of years. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good night. But if you nice actually be. balance this stuff and keep it all together, because, you know, hey, it's the new cool thing, and if it's 5% more powerful, who cares? But, it, you know, the cool artwork and the cool new mechanics, and people want to check this stuff out. It sells itself. You don't always have to just sell more power. Oh, this is twice as powerful as the last thing. And it. And it makes yeah, it but more like, variety they, makes they, it more interesting, more powerful than not everybody's going to go for it. They, they yeah, imagine if you had 10 attackers and you had 30 defenders. Dude, well, agree match up, make fights, man. Then you got to pick the right Titan with the right yep. relic setup for that defender. Well, That's how I, it should be. I agree. So right now I go look at Archmage and I'm like, okay, I'm in a Vera right now. Off the get go because. What's up, Pisces? That's what's on the castle. Well, I know what that's on the castle. Yep. If I had, it is if, the it, best thing. It, it's the best, newest, and best thing. That's why you go into global and cast by a castle instead of having 10 other defenders. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know it's going to be the brand. They, they, they don't get it. They don't, they don't play the game, they don't get it. All right, I'm going to grind the rest of my stones down. I pulled two one stars. That's just what happens. All right, Churro, thank you for joining. Well, and it's not just playing the game. It's collecting, acquiring, and, you know, like the dudes that grind these events. Let's say the guy that gr- is grinding out Minerva. I'm sorry, but it's probably going to be kind of like obsolete by the time the Venomancer shows up. That's just yep. the state of the game. You, yeah, you would so think the developer would, would want balance because they've spent time developing this IP. You know, 
like Loki was freaking awesome, dude. Or in in uh, o- Odin, the first guy to throw lightning balls. Wouldn't you want players to still be using that? Zeus, but yes. Yeah. I yeah, agree. Zeus, Zeus, oh, Zeus. Zeus was awesome with the lightning spell. Oh, yeah, Zeus. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, you know, they developed this stuff, and it's awesome. The artwork is incredible. The You know, the game, it's a beautiful game. You don't want people to use Od- Odin and Zeus and all these cool freaking titans from the past? It's a shame. Nope. They get one week, two now, tops. Real quick, since you mentioned them specifically, because I remember the, uh, the the little ads that they did. Um, we still see in the blog posts, and I meant, I put this in my Discord recently, we still see little uh, video animations that they basically took uh, for in-game and have them in the blog yep. now. You can still developers. I know. I know. No one's listening at this point of the stream, but you can take those and still make ads with them. <laughs> like what the heck? Yeah. Well, well they, did, they did that whole like uh, that whole video clip with uh, Artemis. I still mm-hmm. think that's the coolest thing they've ever done. Well, well Salon, and in all honest opinion, the, the live streams they can go back to doing them. I would hope no, they, so. They just don't want to. They, they, okay. they got sick of catching All the right. game. Driving around, obviously, with my job, going, uh, go, you know, going from place to place and uh, stuff like that. There, I, I can see, like, very clearly that there's a lot of different organization stuff with their signs that they're doing stuff again. So, for instance, I, I passed by three churches today with signs that said, we have live, you can come back to church. And I was like, "Huh, interesting that all Dude, the all Disney these places world is opening tomorrow." Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just saying things things are starting to like you know. I don't I don't want to say get back to normal because I don't think anything will truly get back to the way it was before COVID. You know what? Because there will I, always I be want- there always will be like some sort of like you know precautionary things and everything else. I'm not talking yeah. about you have to wear masks everywhere. Yeah, I'm just saying because you exp- after you experience what we went through for well over a year, I-, I think there's never really truly going back to that same feeling of the way everything was beforehand. So. Well, back up. You, you guys have done all this on YouTube and everything else. You know what? Don't give me that. Really, hmm. don't give me that. I'm tired of hearing it. What? What else? Uh, after these people have been fully vaccinated, of get, catching coronavirus, you have a better chance hitting a lotto. No, uh, all I'm after, saying, well, uh, house, house, I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, that kind of situation. I'm talking about feeling the way it was before. It's for instance, when you when you live life and don't know about any kind, like for instance, before September 11th happened. Did we know what it was going to be like after it happened? No. But when it happened, then it had, obviously, you know, a horrific disaster. And then after that, people say that things will never be the same again. And in a lot of cases, there's a lot of things that have been changed since then. Now, I'm not talking about the, you you know, there's different precautions, different things that are just done and considered the norm after that. So, House, I'm not implying... I'm uh, talking about specifically the coronavirus. I just mean certain things in life will not be the same. So it's just, you know, from now on, will the toilet paper and paper towel companies make sure that this, this, and this is going to be taken care of and they'll never have that kind of a drastic shortage ever again? Yeah, house, they probably will. You know, uh, there's, there's, you know. Again, you know, I want to go... Not quite it to the extreme houses, but here's an easy solution. And again, just call this the 10,000th idea I've tried to give these guys for free. <laughs> All they have to do, Zalon has a Friday night live stream. Right. Or they can, we can make <laughs> Zalon have a stream, you know, that's convenient for the developers or whatever. And it's just Zalon and the two or three developers that week. That hop on Discord mm-hmm. while Zalana is streaming because Zalana is the most diplomatic guy in our game. Period. <laughs> you know, yep. they'd never do it with me because I'd put him on the spot. 
Oh. Yep. I still no, like I mean, to put people on the spot, though. <laughs> they're, they're, they're afraid of you, Vintage. Yeah. yeah. No, they, that is definitely that is definitely true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, Sarmar Deep? He says, uh, hi, Vintage Greens Salon. Why the developers can't go back on Zoom and do a live stream? This is 2021, no, no, and we are living in an age of Google Meet Zoom meetings. Well, yeah, really. But what well, they couldn't say? figure out a tablet cable, so I don't know. Yeah, there was there was some yeah there were some serious technical issues there that we a lot of no. us were just screaming at our monitors no. or our phones like what are you doing? <laughs> so finish go go because I already know you had more. No, just it's just typical, right? It's like they just want to sit in their tiny little box and yeah, just yeah. throw crap over the wall to the community, mm -hmm. you know. If they did any, just an iota of, you know, community engagement, this would be a completely different game. Think about it. We've offered up, a, you know, a council of elders to tell them what's going on with the meta and perhaps something needs tuning or here's an idea, etc. We've offered up additional SPP, you know, people getting SPP accounts. You know, now we're offering up, you know, hey, get on one of your SPP live streams and, you know, we can have some kind of community engagement where at least the freaking chat can ask questions, right. um, you know, et cetera. You know, it's not like we're asking for a free for all or anything. Yeah. I mean, just show your you don't even have to show your face on Discord. Right. Hop yeah. in. Cool. It's just a voice and you're responding to questions and so forth. Ooh, what are the leaks? You yeah. know, hey, what about this thing? Why don't you try this relic with this dude and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, what? could you could you imagine if they got on a live stream with Salon, just Salon, and we put questions to Salon that he could ask some questions? Right. We would exactly. I mean, could you imagine that? Yeah, and could you imagine that some of the questions I would take? After I asked them, they'd be like, was that House's question? I'd be like, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, it no. was. How did no, you know? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. You could filter out the questions. That oh, which means your, your questions would get filtered, House. Is that what you're implying? Uh, 100%. Yeah. Uh, like, of course. I mean, you know, <laughs> we would also want to give them time to respond. Because there's mechanics right. in the game now that, honestly, does anyone absolutely definitively know What's happening in every single circumstance right now with all these invokes firing and debuffs going off and, you know, you got mm -hmm. the area of effect and all that stuff. I Do mean, they on, even you, know what's guys, going on? You see the trigger. <laughs> Do they even know? <laughs> you, know. you know, now we have troops with AOE. Yes. Or, uh, you know, what am I trying to say? The, 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 the um, yes. The bubble. The bubble. Yeah, the aura. The, the aura. aura. There you go. We even have troops with auras. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like there's so many things triggering every couple seconds on next to your uh, the uh, the bar at the top that you have no idea what each one of those is triggering. Yeah, and then you know, and hey, if you can give a troop an aura, dude, all kinds of possibilities. Can I put a spell shield on things and all these other things? You know, we could throw a billion ideas at them. Just give them ideas. The one, the one thing I think that do, it does happen uh, in in the the whole uh, premise of them having uh, small group projects, like you know, uh, uh, teams more or less, is right now currently. Do you you know? I know we we are usually discussing things that are actually live in the game right now, um, and or things that we think should be fit, like added to the game. The thing is, the some of those project teams that are not dealing with, like, for instance, the current live, you know, oh, hey, we're going to be running, like, a live events team and stuff like that, which are always current, worried about the current thing that's happening right now. All the other teams, not the art department, but all the other teams that are actually working on the game itself and, like, what's actually happening in the game, like, what, what, what are we going to do in the next update, you know what I mean? Like, whatever the update teams are. Well... Most of them, uh, my, it, from my, you know, they're already working on the stuff that's happening and going to get rolled out in like another month or two months from now. They're working on stuff, other stuff. So, for instance, when we're talking about this stuff on the streams, sometimes I think to myself that it's like talking to somebody already 
well past what what we're talking about, and they're uh, not they're not going to bother with even addressing it at this point. And that's so what I feel like happens. Hits. I feel like that happens quite often, just because the teams are already like, listen, we got five guys on this, we got three over there, we have two people over here working on that. Like they already have everybody allocated, and if they're going to reallocate people, it's only if. Horrifically bad things happen in the game, and they have to fix it right now. That's... Yeah, but they're three, they're three months ahead. But just like Ben has said, he already told you about this. The next Titan will be 500 armor piercing. We'll go through this. Yeah, well, of course, when it comes down to always being bigger and better, that has been their MO for ever. So it hasn't yeah, changed. Yeah, but don't... The, the coronavirus thing is not working anymore. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think there, there's plenty of uh, places that are because have the opportunity so to go your, to back to actual, you know, your job. Exactly. So has your job stopped? Well, my my job never stopped, and you and, and all the people okay. that watch have been listening to my stream. Well, except for when I was unemployed. I guess that's that's that is one case. But when but it comes down it to it, it never it never changed. Nothing really ever changed for me. Yeah, I say yeah. Your job didn't stop because of COVID. Your job stopped because of the weather. Well, yeah. But besides from that, but, though, it, nothing really in in all essence with my job actually changed. And when I saw people, you know, see people wearing masks all day at work. I'm like, man, that's got to be horrible. So, but unless unless you live in India, your job is moving along. It's a fact. Because if you're in America or you're in in the UK, you're pretty much well vaccinated, along with all the other people, and it, it, it it's going along. Unless you're too long young for vaccinations. Well, that's true, but I mean, U- United States is down to nothing. I see. I think it's down to like what sixteen now. Yeah, I mean, but as percentage wise, we're we're doing nothing. We still have a way to go, though. Yeah, they do not care because it's all about the money. The executive or the, yeah. uh, the, the well, Zenga is interested in the uh, how much money is co- is rolling in. Natural motion, well, is- natural motion that the people at the top of natural motion, they're considered that they are more consi- like they need to make sure that it's making money because they have to hand the sheets over to Zenga. And then the people yeah, underneath but- them are just trying to please their bosses. <laughs> So they're making sure that again, as much whatever they're doing project wise is going to bring in money, and if they can throw but in some other things to keep the community happy, that's what they're going to do. That's Zinga's what it seems to make, be. Zinga's making millions. Oh yeah, but remember, there's still a sheet that's handed over. Well, maybe not a sheet, but still, uh, what's it called? A email is sent. Yeah. And they have they yeah, have all their right. information breakdowns of how everything was that month or that week or whatever, and there you know, and if it's not good after a while, yeah, people are just going to continue to be pulled off the project. So, I didn't say so, the game would get shut down; it would be a more of a we're going to bring take more resources away from you. So well, unless it's bleed millions of dollars, they're not getting rid of it. Well, the good thing is, the good thing is. That, um, knowing yeah, being a number two, we well, working for a number two company at one point. The one thing that you'll know is a number one will always survive, <laughs> at least for the time being. Big box stores, unfortunately, have to say in my situation, uh, are going to go to the wayside one way or another. But one way, uh, I worked for Circuit City, which of course back in the day, two thousand, I think it was two thousand eight, they closed. Whoa. And uh, it, was, a, it, was, it was it was it was it was it was a situation where number one, uh, um, Best Buy obviously still was able to survive through that horrible time of the uh, internet bubble and how everything went pretty wacky when it came down to a lot of businesses at the time. So anyway, when you look Go at on. the when you look at the mobile game industry right now and you look at all the different companies out there, Zenga is highly ranked 
And the one great thing is Donna Titans is underneath their umbrella, which if they weren't, and we were a number two, number four, maybe a number 10 out of the mobile games companies, conglomerates, I should say, if they were in a lower group, the amount of money that they want to want to pull from something like that it's you know probably not going to be able to sustain that but because it's under zenga because they See, don't I'm, they, I'm actually going to disagree there you don't think so you don't think you, um, you still think that a, a company that's that i mean a conglomerate that's trying to compete with zenga is going to keep a game that's not performing uh, so, so the, i've always believed you know these companies that just amass ip it's our our game that we've loved for years is is literally a line item to a zynga executive okay where if natural motion had stayed natural motion now whether they had the funding to do that or not i don't know chances are the executives just wanted a payday from it from zynga Mm -hmm. nevertheless If natural motion had the wherewithal to stay natural motion, I would, I would bet everything I have that the community engagement would be 10 X what it is. You know, all of our wish list items would have a much more realistic chance of getting through, Mm -hmm. et cetera. Oh, I was, I was referring to other conglomerate companies that are all just collecting all these companies. Because I'm not, I'm not talking about the single companies themselves. Sorry, I, 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 I just mean to clarify that because that's what I was referring to. But go on. No, it's just that the, you know, it's just. I think when Zynga bought this game, it was a dark day. We didn't realize it at the time, but I think Zynga is probably beating them up on a on a quarterly basis. More, more, more. And they're just trying to think, gee, what can we do this week to try and generate more revenue rather than being more interested in having a game that lasts, you know, 10 years, 15 years, you know, like, you know, the Blizzard franchises. It's just, you know, you talk about balance. I mean, they make teeny tiny little tweaks to starcraft like three or four times a year and it's it's an amazing game and Mm -hmm. i bought that game in 1996 Mm -hmm. and the original game servers are still up they're still up i'm sorry yeah uh, original starcraft yeah like you can still go back and play brood war (laughs) i i I will 100 percent agree with vintage as soon as corporate gets involved, things go wrong. Yep. I mean, I've been part of smaller, you know, companies that got bought by bigger companies, and it so, always goes to hell. So I've had many companies try to buy a company from me. Nope, won't do it. Things go wrong. Mm-hmm. So I 100% agree. So I'm, I'm hoping – that are my well one of my last ditch efforts over the last you know, I don't know year that I was actually making videos was to say, you know, man, if you can just get some manager with some guts to talk back to the Zynga people and just say, look, this could be if we just did A B C D, but well, yeah, we're going to need a little more funding. But it's going to pay off in the long run because instead of having a game that you just squeeze for two years, we'll just milk it for the next 10 years. I don't know. Just different philosophies, maybe. And I could be, I'm, maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe that's what they're trying to do, and I just don't understand. Yeah, you're not wrong. Bigger's not better. Yeah, well, it could be, it could be happening, like you're saying, and it's just going on deaf ears. No, I agree. I think I think this game's coming on in. I think they're squeezing everything they can out yeah, of it. Yeah, they're they're at the point where yeah, every week they're making it a must participate event. Exactly, like, trying to get everything that they can. You, out of the you, game. you can see it. It's just getting squeezed. Well, and it's a it's just a free for all. I mean, it's just 
it's so out of control. I mean, you know, Crystalis is was ludicrously powerful. Mm-hmm. Then Hell is even more powerful. Well, nothing stops those. Well, here comes Minerva. Minerva is a brick wall. Guess what? The the Panther <laughs> Archmage is going to be utterly, utterly ridiculous, mm-hmm. and it's going to wreck yeah. everything. The numbers on that thing are going to be astronomical. If it's not 1,500 armor piercing, I'll be surprised. Yeah, that, that, that is absurd. Because, you know, with, with Minerva, you got 1150 with no relics. So, you know, 13, 1400 is, is in play, which means, guess what? Your attacker needs more than that. Another epic token. I guess 1400 would do it. Nice. Yeah. Because you, you, in order to have effective oh. armor, you need 80 more than he has armor oh. piercing. Oh, wait a minute. The next tournament, we're going to give you this special relic that'll get through that, that armor. Yeah, it'll give you like times five for, armor piercing. For, for 17K. For 17K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, House, with your numbers. Uh, That's actually right. low for House number. I know, right? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, House wasn't here when uh, Extinction was talking about having the new five star relic in with Minerva in an event. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or not Minerva, uh, whatever the Venom answer is. Right. Oh, we do have a name on it, though, don't we? Yeah. Never yeah. Her. yeah. yeah. When, when Natural Motion was bought, I bet some of the top devs may have left. That's very possible, RSJ, or they moved to other uh, projects inside of Natural Motion. Wow. But yeah, well, no, they probably took a payday and they probably started in a new company. Well, it's yep. insane. It's insane. Think about it. $120 for a Titan. Yeah. So actually, you see those $99 Titans. That's actually not a bad deal. So what? So you're saying you're jumping on the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the, the Runa deal? For the, e- with the Equinox so egg? The house needs a ninth, the ninth runa. Yeah. Ten ninths to eight. Yeah, jump I'll on it. Sit around away, away, away from the ninety-nine dollars. It's cheaper than one hundred twenty, correct? Mm, yeah. That's what this. But is. You're not getting all the relics. You're not getting yeah. all the all the. Uh, food. You're not uh, DGs. All, all the DGs house. Uh, yeah, like DGs I, out I, I, so much. Oh, yeah, every time, oh, every time. Well, Last Every quick thing. Does a tournament when I when I geez. did the uh, uh. Uh, um, what's it called the last uh, um, event for the ship, I actually placed in the top five hundred, and nice. I think I was, I was ranked three eighty three or something like that at the end of the event. So I got three hundred more DGs. So, uh, me too. So I was oh. actually pretty happy coming through and actually doing that event in that case because I was like, wow. Turns out I actually ranked so, pretty high too. Just so, to, just to finish, I just finished. It. I I might have gone over by like a hundred souls or something. But well, so so on. It's the same thing. Our advantage is like, yeah, I'll do the tournament, do DGs, and I'm like, yeah, pull a widow's bite. Cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see how many how yep. much these uh this this new staff is going to be because it looks pretty sweet, and I would say no, for no, it if it's by itself, that would be pretty sick. So it doesn't matter. You don't get to choose his five DGs or seven DG type uh, relic. We'll see. We'll see how much it is, House. All right. So, House, you're going to be streaming on Sunday. We'll be looking forward to that. I'm going to wrap up actually because uh, remember I did say I have to go to work tomorrow and I got to get some sleep. Oh. So, all right, everybody. Working. Yeah, I do appreciate everybody joining in. Well, at least uh, I was able to catch the end of the stream. We do have House. Uh, Artemis, Black Talon again. Thank you for that donation earlier. BK, Darshigon, D and Drum, which was awesome to have them on tonight as well. Vintage and Riger here in Discord. I do appreciate everybody that joined in on the chat as well. Um, no, I'm not doing a pull tonight, Christian Woods. It, it, I'm, if anything, I'm going to be waiting to see what's going on with these with these new relics. So uh, yep. I will be back uh, probably. Uh, I don't know, some probably some assault. Uh, but I'll be on other streams if when people are streaming. Also, too, um, BMT said he's going to be streaming tomorrow morning. 
And like the video on the way out. That's always a good thing to do. Thank you, Artemis. So, all right, DOT community, I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a good one.